Mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all having a wonderful day today. I hope we're all excited for a wonderful Friday. Going into a fantastic weekend with great games and, um, you know, plenty of people, right? Like, uh, you know, we're all here, we're gonna all, gonna, all gonna have fun. Now, speaking of one of the great games that coming out, it's gonna be, uh, the game that I'm streaming right now. So, um... Basically, I did. <laughs> for the first time in a while, uh, I've had to pull out my Elgato, and once again, I forgot to move my light. Um, and when I say pull out my Elgato, I don't mean like I haven't used it between the last time I played a game on it or in this, but uh, this is the last. This is, it's been a while since I've streamed a game using the Elgato. I think it's been since um, since Neo: The World Ends with You. I'm going through my PS5 that uh it's taken me to use it um other than that i i can't think of anything um but yeah so speaking of games that came out uh digimon survive and xenoblade chronicles 3 came out both today 
Um, at some point, I'll probably play through Digimon Survive because it kind of looks like my kind of game. Um, but I want to play this game. So that's what I did. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah, uh, I plan to do it. I, ha I have... I have not gone into the game yet, which is why I wanted to start here. That way you could also see what other games that I've had <laughs> previously. Um, but yeah, so um, let's go in. It's been a while since I've used the uh, Elgato, so I'm not sure how um, if I need to really do any uh, audio changing up with it. Um, because, interestingly enough, in OBS I have it set to make the Elgato audio go through the general speaker's audio. And I think that was to make it so I could hear it even when I played games in OBS, even when I wasn't streaming. Because sometimes I'll just open up, like, the Elgato capture screen um, or, like, OBS and just play <laughs> the game on full screen in those. Um, okay, so just so you know, the game auto saves, like most games nowadays. Um, but damn, like, I, like I'm honestly pretty excited because um, I, I said him, I've said it previously. Um, I didn't really end, uh, say in my tweet, but obviously it's in the stream title. Um, I'm going into this game pretty darn blind. I know very little about the game. I don't remember the first direct trailer all that much. Um, basically, all I know is some of the character models. Like, I don't even know their names. I just know what they look like. Um, a little bit. And... That's, for the most part, it. I know that it doesn't have exactly the same combat system as Xenoblade 2, which is the one that I'm most familiar with. Um, so... Just figure I might as well go in. The game has been updated for more details. Press... Yeah. So I downloaded the most recent update of it, which is the day one update. Um, okay, so camera, invert, up, down, normal, camera reset, speed, zoom, camera position, gradient correction, um, enemy target bow camera, audio, console speakers, TV speakers, headphones, home audio. Um, I guess I'll put it in headphones, because that's the most accurate, maybe it changes like the binauralness of it potentially. So we got the system settings, we got voices, we got the music, but apparently the music isn't affected by this. <laughs> Notifications, we got eh, all these, whole bunch of stuff. Um, messages, cutscene subtitles are on, autoplay, voice text. Um, set weather to advance automatically through text. Okay, yeah, no, I don't want that. I'll play unvoiced text. Nope, dialogue text speed. Interesting that they have it set in bars and not, like, fast or other things. Um, set the speed at which speech balloons for unvoiced dialogue automatically advanced. Um, okay. Display, minimap fixed, obviously, revolving. Nope, <laughs> or just turn it off. Other information, all this, okay, brightness, uh, honestly, I think, I think it starts out pretty good, game, vibration, auto activate quests, so whether newly received quests are automatically activated, auto display quest objectives, yep, yep, target controls, D, uh, target controls, um, auto battle, leave control of battles to the AI, will not take effect in boss and unique, oh, interesting, okay, that's neat. But yeah, okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get on into it. After I drink some water. But I hope everyone's having a nice day and is excited to, uh, play through this with me. I think, I think, um, chances are I'll be, there, there's higher chances of streams being a tad more active in the later streams. Um, because I'm pro I'm probably not going to be playing through this as fast as other people playing. Like, right now is day one, a whole bunch of people are playing it. But a lot of people are also going to be playing it a lot, and will probably finish it before me. Um, that said, I do also plan to play this off-stream. It's not going to be 
a completely stream game, although I'm going to try and have the off stream stuff be side content as much as possible. Sorry, just looking at my controller because I, I can't tell. It's hard for me to tell if a portion of it's like peeling off the button or if it's like just residue buildup. I'm not sure. But regardless, um, I'm not sure where I'm going to be fitting this into my quote-unquote schedule, whether it's going to be a one-time-a-week uh, play game or if it's going to be a two-time-a-week. Um, it probably This one is likely to be one where I'll probably just swap it around wherever I want or, like, not going to be nearly as, like, regular as other games. So anyone expecting that should, um, sh sh probably shouldn't expect it anymore. Um, but I do know that Fontano isn't really going to be watching or be able to mod because he doesn't want to get spoiled on this game. So that's completely understandable. Um, so please, no one be mean to me in chat. Okay, so we got easy for those who want an easier time during combat, preferring to focus on progressing the story. For those who want moderately difficult, generously balanced battle. Your combat. For those who enjoy challenging themselves with fairly difficult combat. Yeah, I'm just going to go with normal. And the difficulty can be changed at any time. Which is grateful. Locking in difficulty kind of sucks. Unless it's like you're doing the super extra hard difficulty where it's like, once you do it, you can't get out of it. And it's like, okay, you should know what you're doing. This shouldn't be your first time playing through. Um, Like, you don't go into a game and play the extreme difficulty as your first time, usually. Okay, we got a clock. Clock sounds, but monolith's off. They're like, oh, yeah, that's a clock. The click clock of a clock. Can always be okay, so I see. Okay. Oh, ooh, that's that's good water. Come on, hurry up! The Queen's anniversary is gonna start without us, guys. Queen's anniversary is yeah. gonna start without us. Hop, hop, run like you mean it. Oh, we go. Okay. <laughs> so got some no ponds in the back. Yeah, the short, the short people. Is it true though? There's gonna be fireworks. Everyone likes wearing black and yeah. like boots and stuff here. Setting up yesterday. There were loads of them. It'll be worth it, promise. Okay. So like it seems like there's just a fashion in this world, and that the, the dark color like jackets and pants seem to be it, potentially. Okay, couple of pain in the fountain. Uh, that's a kid thing to do. Oh, and we got uh yeah, so she has she has wings on her head, which I think is a like a Xenoblade One race thing. I don't think that was. Yeah, I don't think the feather, like the wing, wing-headed people, the angel people, um, were in Xenoblade Two. Uh, okay, so he's entering. He's entering witch time. Curious as to what this is. It's always, it's always neat when you see time stop stuff go on in fiction. See how differently they try to present it. Right, where this one, he's just like, obviously confused. Like, what is going on? Oh, whoa, that, okay, that's a planet? <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, okay, that's a... That is a much differently architecture building than the town. I wonder if that building is supposed to be there, if that just showed up? Okay. Uh, are, are already getting the gears going. In my, in mine head. Oh, okay. Symbolizing the collision of, I guess, two worlds or something. Oh. Okay. Just a chunk out of, it, out of its back. Uh, okay, okay. So original con. Okay, so, so, so like antimatter chunks or something. Like what's going on here? Okay, we got some. We got some. Okay, okay, we got some swords. We got some mech-looking things. Good designs. Okay, and it obviously seems to be some kind of battle or war. Both have max. 
What is it they need to stay alive? Water? Food? Certainly. Oh. Wait, what the heck? But what we need most is life itself. Oh. Interesting. So they kill, I presume, with those specific weapons or in the vicinity of these robots and it absorbs like the vestiges of life? Like the last little bit of life of a dying person? Taking each other's lives. With the taken flames becoming your own in turn. Okay. The, other, the one whose essence is stolen leaves only a husk. Interesting. Okay. So not so like the resource itself is the life, which is why they have to kill, right? Whereas in other games it's like, oh, we need water, we need g gas, we need salt or whatever. This game is like, no, we we literally need life. Yeah. Yes, sir. Lower in aim, sir. So in this case, it's literally we want to, we don't want to insta kill them. We want to impede them as much as possible so we can get as many kills as possible. Okay. That, that is, mm. that goes against like literally everything that you see in most games where it's like, oh, kill them as quickly as possible, get them to run away. And it's like, no, this one's like, no, we do not want them to run away. In order to live. Okay. And living to fight. That's the way of our world. Ionios. Ionios. Because in Diablo 2, there are ions. And presumably in... To realize that fact. Okay. Oh, okay, he's whipping out. He's whipping out big red blade. Lance. Okay, Lance. Noah. Shut it. Stop flapping your gums and move. Yeah. We've got more incoming. Okay. Okay. So we got no palm, we got a gun, we got uh him. Okay. You will automatically attack an enemy if you approach them. This is called an auto attack. Yep, so that's a staple. So on the left side I can see Noah, Uni, Lands, and Mwamba. I see currently three different things, symbols right next to their bomb left of their name. Um, one's a shield for land, so I'm presuming tank. And then I see two swords, so presumably attackers, and then maybe that's meant to be a staff, so like a healer or support. Sand, still near an enemy, continue on attacking, and I can come in range for both attacks to be shown in the bottom right corner. Okay, so... Okay. So, it seems to show where the aggro is going. Um, so that's good. We gotta get XP and CP. Okay, and I can't, can't do any moves, but L and R, like these buttons, uh, swap target. Okay, but I will say of the character portraits, it seems to me, Mwamba seems the least unique. I have a feeling he he might be likely to die in this opening cutscene or opening like section as a spark to um, start off our team's story, I guess. Um, also, it would almost make sense if I'm looking if I'm metagaming it right, where we have two attackers but one of the other. Um, unit types. So if we were going to be getting rid of anyone, it would be the duplicate. 
You can review tips that popped up in the game from any time main menu system tips. Okay. So, rank five, rank five. Yeah, Muamba's rank 10. So, I have a feeling, like he's still level one, but it said down at the bottom right, right, his thing is rank 10. So, and it seems like the rank goes with other stuff. So there's also a quick save. Interesting. I wonder what that actually means. Map, Asia region full. Okay, okay, okay. Items. Okay, okay. System, we got the expansion pass. I don't, I don't have the expansion pass. Um, adventure support pack, yeah, now available, new, yeah, yeah, I don't really plan to get it at all, but, okay, so system, tips, yeah, okay, oh, huh, okay, cool, 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 these are probably gonna show, okay, so how attackers fight, so if I plays the attacker role, attack an enemy from the side or back, while the defender has their attention, be sure aware of your positioning, and a battle is crucial. I mean, rage, enemies with a rage threshold and HP gauge will turn and rage when their HP drops below that threshold, raising attack and changing their behavior pattern. Be very careful. Noah, sword fighter, attacker, provides a balance of abilities to go for unique monster and boss fights. Be aware of positioning, start combos with break arts. Uni's class. Medic, gunner, roll healer. Specialize in field arts, their talent art can heal allies over a large area without accumulating aggro. And his class. Heavy Guard Roll Defender uses attacks that build plenty of aggro and can take many hits, making this class perfect for defending allies. Destinations. A exclamation point will mark your next destination. It also indicates how far away you are. I'm getting that. You can place a custom marker anywhere you want by pressing Y, making any favorite location easier to find. An icon will be displayed on the field, guiding you to where the marker is set, so whenever there's a place you want to go to, make sure you use it. Okay, interesting. Checking controls. Auto saving. Basic stats, um, reduced by damage, character, yeah, use to calculate damage dealt to enemies, calculate HP restored while healing, used to calculate attack accuracy, used to calculate chance of evading, okay, block rate, blocking, crit, crit, damage reduction, one take me physical, ether, okay, so, list of buffs, okay, and I haven't gotten any buffs, and I haven't gotten it. Okay, that's neat. So they don't just tell you what all the buffs and debuffs you can get in the game are. You have to get them first. And then enemy types. Okay. Quick move. Press R to temporarily sheath your blade and rapidly move for a certain distance. You won't attack, but it has many useful applications. E.g. when... Okay. I'm gonna have to remember that. So press R. Characters in danger. Well, characters in case they grave damage due to low HP. Be sure to send healing their way. If you become unable to act by getting toppled, launched, or dazed, try wiggling left and pressing those to quickly, okay. Save restricted, you will not be able to save the game while your control character is standing on a moving surface or when they're falling. Enemies joining battle. When a battle, nearby enemies can suddenly join for your convenience. The number of enemies in a battle is displayed. Okay, nice. Continue, uh, most recent save. With weapons drawn, press uh, minus to auto to toggle, auto battling the player fight and use art automatically. Press on to capture the image of the game screen. However, unlike when you're using the actual button, the screen will be taken without any game. That's awesome. That's a that's a great feature. Um, okay. And then you can Nice. Okay, so tips, control guide, amiibo. You can receive a little reward by scanning any amiibo you might have. Up to three amiibo can be scanned per day. You know what? Let's, let's try this. Amiibo. Ugh. I got I got a little Mac Amiibo from from Japan. My friend got it for me when uh, when like Amiibos were just coming out before they had been uh, localized. Um, bonus XP. Yeah, oh, nice. And then collectible set. Okay, that's neat. You should pick up the collectibles that appear on your feet when you close the menu. Nice. So I wonder if non-Xenoblade related amiibos give random things, or if every amiibo is set to give a specific thing. Um, audio, uh, voices is maxed. So I think I'll... I think I'll drop these down one to let the voices be a tad higher in comparison. Yeah, 
I'll try and apply the chain sayings and I want to save. Okay. So, it's a quick save. This is a legitimate save. Um, and now I'm a lot closer to level two. Nice. Let's keep on routing these fools and keep this moving forward. Okay. Don't get in over your head, okay, Lance? Okay, I also want to characters. Ah, okay, so these are their skills. And okay, so it gives class the rank. And I guess how it performs as a certain class, it seems. So it's an A attacker, but a C tank, C healer, and an A rook. Sharp eye. Hey, Mr. Light, how's it going, my man? Reduce aggro generator from attacks, boost crit. Okay, inspirit. But I don't have any, like, actual skill skills. Um. So is there, so there's a, okay, so guests I presumably can't swap in. Um, yeah, I just started, Mr. Lai, I've been, I've just been going through menus and stuff. You look cool. Okay, let's get into, yeah, fight. How to begin a battle? Begin a battle by drawing your weapon. First target an enemy, then press A to draw your weapon. To withdraw from battle, hold A for a while to sheath your weapon. Push your enemy automatically to target them. Uh, if there are multiple enemies, press L and R to target different. Okay. There we go. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're ready for a nice weekend. Or hopefully you have a nice weekend. I know that you don't necessarily get weekends free. But I hope you're ready to have uh, a... a uh, a nice weekend. I hope it's nice, regardless whether you have to work through it or not. Apparently I'm watching with no internet service. Can you test how long it takes for everything to freeze and crash? Oh, great. <laughs> okay, there we go. Win the battle. Oh. Arts are stronger than odd attacks. They can be activated by pressing X, Y, or B. Yep. So, makes sense. Um... Yeah, so the so this is one thing that was also in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, where they made the moves instead of like a activating bar at the like in Xenoblade 1 and X, where it's at like the bottom, almost like MMO I like. They made it each move assigned to a button. You get three of them. Um and the, the and I think that's really smart, having each skill assigned to a button instead of like a Oh, hold a button to activate skill menu and then have them assigned. It's just like, nope, base, if you're in combat, here's, here they are. After using an art, you cannot use it again until its gauge fills back up. The art's gauge fill up automatically over time. This is called recharge. Okay, so AoE would do it. Okay, so side. Okay, and that was a back attack. So I'm just trying to do the, um... So each of the things tells kind of what it is, right? The top one, ground B, is an AoE, so I wanted to do that next to multiple people. Um... The bottom one is a back attack, so I want to do it when I'm back. And then, I guess, with the other one, the sword strike, it's a side break, so maybe doing it from the side can inflict the break status, I'm presuming. Ah, okay, pressing R. Okay, colonies have ranks, okay. And those ranks are relatively indicative of strength, it seems. There we go. Okay, so I did a side attack that uh, that uh, can do like break, um, and then a back attack was able to topple. 
So, is there a way to, like, switch characters? Or am I only able to really, um, control this character for right now? Ooh, attack up. Oh, that's interesting. So, if you're standing, presumably, in this circle, your attacks just are better. Okay. Neat. Okay, trying to... Like, I, I, I like playing a game and then having to learn like I like it I like this where it's like you're you're immediately thrown into combat. The front line that Trish's team Uni how are things with Kite? What about our backup? I will say the the fashion for our main like team on point. Artillery. They're not going anywhere. Anyone's moving right now it's us. Let's go! If the front line breaks, we're all dead! But the position! We can handle this ourselves! Go on, move it! Thanks, bruv. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, Mr. Light, you may have missed it, but these guys are essentially fighting for life force. Right, so when they kill a person, the life force gets absorbed into the giant mechs on either side. Uh, and that seems to be the primary resource that they're fighting for, so they have to kill other people. Okay. Talent art. Okay, talent arts are stronger than normal arts. Talent art can be activated by pressing A once its circular gauge is full. Okay, on the far right. A talent arts gauge is recharged by performing actions expected of a character's role, also called roll actions. Okay. If you meet the requirements for arts, they give bonus effects for positioning. Your talent art icon will flash red, and your talent art will be charged up a lot. Okay, so do a move that says back attack from the back, increase. Do a side attack from the side, increase. Hit multiple people with an AOE, presumably increase. Action that deal damage effectively, such as dealing critical hits or participating in combos, also counts roll action, charging your talent gauge bit by bit. Canceling attacks. Performing an attack the moment the previous one hits allows you to cancel one attack and do another, making them full equip. Oh, okay. So combos, basically. You can cancel auto attacks into arts and arts into talent arts. Doing this speeds up the execution and you deal damage more quickly. Okay. Okay. There we go. Got it, guys. Okay, so... So I do like this cancel thing, where it rewards you a bit more actively for following the auto combat along and trying to actually do things properly. Like, timing it. And uh, additionally, it's not so um, uh, so I will say one thing that uh, I do notice is that you, you do not attack at all when um, when you're moving. Like you need to be still for attacks to go. But I will say I do like um, Mwamba being competent enough uh, competent enough to know to stay in the um, uh, to stay in the uh, in the attack up area when he's firing because he has range so presumably he knows to, one, keep a distance, but try and remain in anything that makes him better. That's good. That's good AI. Okay, so we killed a giant robot. 
Game over, right? Game over, man. Ah, war. War never changes. Okay. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay, so it seems like it's losing energy and power and therefore starting to fall apart. Oh, is that just gonna crush the guy? I was like, oop. Oh. Yeah, it's damn. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is what you should expect when you're fighting next to building-sized machines. Don't be near them when you've won the fight. Yeah, we did it. Whole bunch of people are dead. <laughs> we won. Your lives are ours. Your lives are ours. <laughs> that's that's such a dark and depressing thing to say and mean it so literally. Your lives are ours. <laughs> we will use them as fuel. <laughs> Your lives are our gasoline. So, I'm curious to know, like, I'm so curious to know about, like, the history of, of, of this world, right? Like, why, when did the fighting start? Was it instigated? Is, like... Okay, so we got got some pods. Wait, what? Are people? Is that what the? So life is literally okay. So they just. Every one of us is born looking like this. Oh, that's so weird. As soldiers. As weapons for slaying Agnians. Yes. All of us live only to fight. Okay. So literally born slash created. To do okay, but they look nice like too early for that. Look, it's you they're after here. But the, these kids all look like just take out their attackers and we're golden. They look like ones that were in the open and cut scene. So I wonder, I wonder how that's related. You're as slippery as Noah sometimes. Liquor and hoop. Uni. Chick never shuts up. Kite! Range darts! Easy! Okay. And they had mentioned Kite in one of the cutscenes earlier. Snuffed. Oof. Oh, God. Okay, so we got a heal. So are they using like actual weapons in these fights? You okay? Uni. Cheers for that. You're a lifesaver, Yoren. Yoren, okay. 
Barking, dead weight. Hey, change your plan. Uh. Kite, you keep firing and don't stop. Oh, what? Whatever you want. Huh? Go ballistic. Just draw their attention. Because what we're after here is that lame duck. Yorin? But he's bottom of the class. Why bother? Thing is, the brat's still a decent healer. Get it? Ah, right. So we're playing by the book here. Pisses me off. But the fight will be good as one. Yeah. Okay. So, sta standard, even in this world, go after the heals. If you can't heal, then you, uh, you can't maintain. I like how I like how this cussing is pretty darn dynamic. They're not in their usual formation. Wait, what? <gasps> We're snuffed. Kai's just a decoy, so they're really after. Dude, just one arm pushes him. <laughs> Dude, we got a tank over here. Land's being an absolute MVP right now. Come on, Yuni, you gotta shoot. See, I like her, like, staff thing, because it seems like it's a charge-up laser gun. As well as, like, a, a staff-looking thing. <laughs> you stay right there, let me tank you. <laughs> oh. Like, it seems like they're using actual weapons. Like, his, his arm seems dead. Like, are they actually just, like, straight up killing people in these training sessions? Okay, no, he's he's standing there. How do you know a character's main character? They're not wearing those stupid ass helmets. Get off me! Had to go and play the hero, didn't he? You really think you could have taken them? I think Yorin did the right thing. If he hadn't used his powers back there. You'd have been first out of the running. Yeah, but still. Didn't have to go get himself killed for it. Come on. He was trying to protect you. He lured in Garvel's gang. Gave us a chance to turn it around. Ugh. You know who wasn't up to it? We weren't. Yeah, but... Just stop it! No more arguing. It's my fault. I should have... Just done a better job. Then we'd have won. Hey. <laughs> so much for getting to the final, huh? Sorry. We're all friends here. Come on, man. I let us down on your big day. I'm so sorry. Oh no, man, Yorin. It's fine. What big day? I'm saying back. Day. Why is everyone British? Who's? Your dummy. It's your second term, right? Remember? Yeah, everyone's just British. They got oh. British voice actors. 
Yeah, Xenoblade. Xenoblade has historically been um uh like voice acted by like European voice actors, as far as I know. Like Welsh voice actors, British ones, Scottish. Right? Might do, might not. But yeah. It, each have a lifespan of ten years. Oh, wait, we what? Terms. <laughs> Life begins with our first term and ends at the close of our tenth. Wow. And over the course of those ten years, we fight continually. <sighs> Though in reality, okay. there aren't that many who can hold their flame for the whole ten years. Most lose their lives on the battlefield before they reach year ten. But those who do survive to the end. Are honored in a special service. Do they get to keep call it the homecoming? Do they get to keep living, or is it just hey, you get a Morning, special get a special hey, service? Noah. Morning. <laughs> Morning, uh Lance. I will say Lance is like design, like the like I guess like the 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 skin tone difference. Get a move on. Looks really cool. Quick, we're gonna miss the homecoming. It's like parts of his body are kind of mechy. Like almost like they're slightly plated. Best one they've ever had here, right? Yeah, isn't it awesome? Yeah, okay, we got a small little nopon just coming along with us, wearing a cool hat. Okay. But yeah, that 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 cutscene fight was all pretty darn good. Like it was it was damn dynamic. You it's easy to tell, like who had what going on? You're able to see character like traits and stuff. It was interesting. Okay, we got a cool guy in some red armor. So it makes me wonder if there are. Okay. There's a woman wearing a mask. Whoa. Even the queen's come out. Okay, so she's the queen. So that's her majesty. Huh? So it makes me wonder if the entire population wow. is these ten year beings, like combat people, oh. or if it's these are the combat ones, but there's still a regular populace present. Okay. Some flutes. Yeah, so I knew that flutes were involved in this, based on the direct and some other stuff I saw where... Apparently for the game and the soundtrack to be, like, super realistic to the world, they, um... They actually had, like, the in-game flutes carved in real life so that they could use them when making the music for the game. Okay. So, at year 10, you just disperse into light, so cool. light shards. I heard the stories, but this is just wild. That's gonna be me someday. Just you try and stop me. You guys too. You're totally making it with me. Of course. Uh, hmm. And you, Noah, right? Huh? Sure. Yeah. You bet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that seems like it'd be nice. So yeah, they so so they still die. Our lives came or... from the queen, and we all lived for a chance to take part in the homecoming. Yeah. The okay. chance to return to the queen's embrace, See. carrying out ten years of service fighting. That was our whole world. It makes Nobody me wonder. Question it. Makes me wonder if you can't, if the ten is that day. is essentially self-imposed, right? Like, like does their body just burst into these kinds of lights at year ten, or is it initiated by the queen? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so swapping over. So now Noah, back in intro time, or. Regular time, playing his flute. I 
want to rock out, no? Rock out. Okay. Like, this world is already damn interesting, so nobody thought to question until that day. So at some point they question, like, the homecomingness. Oh, just rolling over the bodies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just stepping on them. Yeah, the fact that, like, the people are artificially created and, like, matured to child combat age is so interesting, because it's like, okay, this life force is collected to do that, to make them, and presumably power other stuff as well, but that makes it a lot more cyclical and understood as to, you know, how it directly impacts their fighting force, like every combat win would be directly correlated. You have to. Huh? You shouldn't be sending those guys off like that. What? Why not? Why are you like this, Noah? It's Agnes, our enemy. Well, yeah. They don't have an officer, though, to send them. Yeah, they all bit the dust thanks to us. So what? Look, there's no rule not to. Then what? You're just gonna keep going? I don't get you, Noah. I know we're putting our lives on the line, but still. Yeah, yeah, we get it already. Friend or foe, someone has to lay them to rest. For that is my role as an officer. Right. We've had this uh, conversation with- Is my with... voice that deep? It's really not. Shot at you. I wasn't trying to be anyone specific. Right, I've had about enough of all this depressing crap. Let's head back and hit the showers. I like how the Nopon has yet to talk all even once. Up with blood and sweat. Ah, oh, bye, transport. Guess we missed it again. Oh, bollocks. Bollocks. Oh, Noah always does this. How many times is it we've had to walk home now? But their calves are so strong because of it. Okay. Interesting. So they didn't. So it seems like it's a regular thing to have an off seer flute player to, I guess, send off the departed souls. Right, because it seems like there's the life absorption, but then like the soul aspect that's unique to that individual. It'll just disperse, and this is a ceremony to be like, hey, yeah, see you later. Asia region ever blight plane. Oh yeah, we all we love the ever blight plane. We love the Kalid wastes. <laughs> there are places across the world that would give you XP once found. Key locations are called landmarks. And the especially difficult to find ones are called secret areas. And the whole party has been incapacitated in battle. You return to the last landmark you passed by. Sweet, let's poke around. Five XP. Me map display at the top right. It displays characters' immediate surroundings and quest destinations. Press R to display a bigger map. Press ZL and Y whenever you need navigational assistance. Doing so will display the shortest route to your destination. Nice. Can't have strong calves and you never let them rest and regrow. I mean, that's true, but you know, they're going back home where they're presumably going to go sleep and rest. You know, so this is just extra training. <laughs> Be advised, however, the shortest route may sometimes take you past tough enemies, so it's not necessarily the best or easiest one. Five areas are for the best. Okay, so that's right, nice. Let's head back to so, calling nine. So, ZL, Y. Oh, that's neat. Does a little, like, echolocation thing. And you press R. Okay. So I kind of wish I could move this size of the minimap to be uh, kind of over on the left. Because, like, it's not opaque. <laughs> like, I can't see through it. Or I guess it is opaque. It's completely opaque. It's not transparent. That's what I meant. Uh, so I got items. So I got canini, a garafa tenderloin, powdered wheat, small nut, salty cabbage. Got these from my amiibo, so that's why I have them. I haven't picked them up yet. Um, systems. Tips. Got a whole bunch. So, you know what? Combat. How to begin a battle. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, attackers roll actions. Yeah. 
Canceling attacks did that. Giving up. On the battle, you can hold triangle to open the battle menu, so I give up to abandon the battle and return to the last name. Oh, okay. If you choose. Uh, mini map. Mini map display top right. Yep. Landmarks. Yeah, menu shortcuts. ZL to bring up shortcut palette. Oh! You can access one of the useful features character. Oh, that's nice. And you can set. Oh, that. Mmm. Mmm. Most games don't do this kind of tasty shit. Press squ uh, square plus while holding ZL to bring up a separate shortcut customization screen. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, Y, auto saving. Okay. So, yeah, there we go. Area map. Quest route, we don't have any quests. Area map brings up the map. Is there? So if there's already a map button. So triangle that, don't do it. TL, don't do it, okay. So that makes sense as to why that might be. Oh, okay, and holding ZL. Um, okay, holding ZL and ZR allow you to kinda Fix the zoom or the camera angle. Uh, okay, I like this. Hey, how's it going, Uni? Uh, nice derriere. I wanted to, I wanted to, god damn it, I wanted to look at your head. You got your wings. God, you guys just can't stand still, but you, your coat looks pretty cool. Um, there we go. Eh, I still want to go out a little bit more. So yeah, let's let's explore a little. Yeah, I mean I'm in this wonderful game. Might as well might as well explore. This ain't the way to colony nine. Surely, okay. So they they okay. You know what? I, I will go to colony nine. Okay, so B is jump. A is nothing. Okay. Y is to show high quest objective. And then X is to open this. Okay. So, you know what? Let's edit shortcuts. So, that's characters. So, there's characters, map, items, system, save. So, you know what? I'm going to have... I'm going to have B be save, right? Because I feel like that's just a smart thing to have auto go. It's good to keep a record. Yeah. God, already been playing for, or already been streaming for almost an hour. <laughs> uh, God love JRPGs with their long cutscenes. But I will say that cutscene was welcome, right? It was a cool cutscene and gave a lot of information. There's no denying that. Okay, so let's jump up here. Get the mushroom. Oh god, the music just... There we go. Neat. So, uh, when's the battle happening? So we got a whole bunch of flies and stuff. Let's, let's come over here and get some... Get some XP and some mats. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. I'll make this quick. Smooth as always, Noah. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. So Crush out. Nothing coming. Extra. Yes. Oh. Way too soon. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Make me quicker, the initiative. Always, Come here. I got for you. There we go. Okay, so I, what I want to try and do is I want to try and use all of my arts in like one combo. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, because it seems like that that's the point where you quote unquote cancel the attacks into each other to maximize. Oop. It's hard to 
Area effect healing. Unity's healing ring casts a green healing aura that remains on the ground character standing within the aura. Let's right Oh, nice. Okay. Come on. Okay, so she just puts down rings, and it's just very beneficial to be in said ring. Like, oh yeah, just be in the attack up, be in the heal rings. Okay, I like this. So I'm curious to know, like, there has to be a way to switch control of character, but I'm presuming that comes in after... Oh god, hello there, level 42s. Let's not... Uh, how, about, how about we don't? How about we don't? Okay, what's this yellow thing? A container? Resources, presumably? And who is this no pawn? Okay, okay, finally, or no pawn Riku. Friends, wait! What's the matter, Riku? Oh, Noah! Just because friends are worn out from battle is no excuse to not pay attention to surroundings. Direct eyes right there! Oh, hey, an abandoned container. If it's been cast off like trash, is it even worth trying to salvage it? Victory can make soldiers sloppy, neglectful of battlefield aftercare tasks. Thanks to Nopon Rearguard, Noah and friends survive battle. Go home with Bum Bum in single piece. Don't friends think friends should heed advice of experienced colleague? I guess maybe we should. Oh, so you're a badass now, eh, Riku? Maybe next time you want to join us on the front line, huh? That sound fun! Hey, Lance, go easy. Riku's just trying to help us out here. <laughs> okay, so Riku's a rear guard. Maybe that's the Nopon races kind of thing. Maybe that's the Rook sign? Rear guard, potentially? You may chance upon containers while exploring. Inside, you can sometimes find items that are otherwise hard to come by, so it's worth going out of your way to open them. Uh, items have different rarities. From high to low, they are legendary, purple, rare, yellow, and common, white. Okay. See, I would have swapped uh, yellow and purple to be different, uh, have yellow be the highest rarity, but purple be the second. The rarity I am, the harder it is to come by. Hey, you open. Wonder what's inside. I do wonder what's inside. Okay, got an attack stone. You can equip accessories via characters, accessories in the main menu. Accessories help strengthen your characters in various ways. Okay, open main menu. Equip your equipment. <laughs> Accessories are pieces of gear that characters need to equip. Go to characters. In characters menu, there are different options that allow customization. Accessories. Equip your equipment. Only one accessory slot is open at first, but then at level 30 and then at level, I don't know, 50, 60 maybe. Uh, is open, but as you level up, you'll unlock a maximum of three slots. Uh, an E already next to a piece of equipment in the case that has already been equipped by a character. Boost da damage dealt to aerial life by 50%. Boost auto da attack damage by 50 Damn, that's pretty good. Close the menu once you finish equipping the accessory. Um, so... Okay, so he has a feather band. Damn it, I wanted to... Wanted to... I didn't... Yeah. I wanted to go see auto-saving. Okay, so neat. So area map. God, you can see the thing is I don't know if me being able to zoom out this far means there's all that like there's a whole bunch more things to do, but it it really makes me like after playing Elden Ring, right, where like the map is just a lie until you pick up the next piece of the map and then it just gets bigger. It, uh, very much makes me th always think, like, if I'm able to zoom out my map super hard, I have, there's a reason. It's, it, like, I'm able to zoom it out that far because the map is big enough for me to have to have a cursor that's able to make good time across it. Hey, is that? Oh, it's a dead guy. Dead must have snuffed in route back to Colony 9. Rough deal. Yeah, and with all that life left on the clock. Just wait a moment, would ya? I had to take care of the off saying. 
Of course, we have time. God, I love Riku's hat. No, as an offseer, a soldier who helps the fallen pass on. Sending off any husk you find on the field will build your affinity with the colonies they belong to. Ah. Interesting. We okay, so you, leave it like this. so you definitely want to do it, because affinity is probably affinity with a colony. Yeah, I don't know what affinity with colony means or what it will get me just yet, but I know I want it. Because it's a thing in the game. When you don't know what a thing is, just know that you want it. Okay. Oh, this is rare. Let's get these arms. Okay. So you don't. Ooh, a helix tube. So you don't necessarily need to get right next to a given item to pick it up, but you do need to get like within a decent oh, proximity. Riccalo Pound. Welcome to Riccalo Pound. Ever riffle. Here we go, guys. Let's give them the usual now. Okay. Crush now. We got the initiative. Nice one, Wamba. Enemy's broken away from me. Hey, this isn't too bad for you. Thanks. Arrow burst. Extra. Here we go. See, I don't know if I missed her. I'm just hit. let's pick up the items. See, the beginning of the game, I'm all, like beginning of just about any game that has some level of crafting system, always is um, one where you're just like, oh yeah, I need to, uh, I need to always and forever be doing as much collecting as possible for when uh, you get to the part where you can start crafting and you want to make sure that you have more than enough materials. Here we go. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we killed some rabbits. Good. Bunnet meat. Okay, so it was a bunnet. So can we fight in the water? Here we go, guys. Yes, Let's we can. The usual, Noah. Interesting that there's no difference between water combat and land combat. Like we're still able to just do everything just the same. God damn it. So I will say the camera does seem to, like, try and zoom in on its own quite a bit. Presumably to fit whatever space you're in. Right, like, if I get into, like, a corner, it's gonna zoom in because it doesn't want to have the camera behind the wall. You itching to get wrecked? Come here! I got something for you! Thanks! Subscribe! Yeah! Oh, Extra! There you go. But it seems like every move recharges to full between combats. Which is pretty nice. It makes it so you don't have to worry about things nearly as much. It's like, oh yeah, no. We're gonna, gonna have plenty of Gonna have plenty of ability to use your moves. See, one thing that I'm excited for is getting to the point in the game where presumably you're gonna be able to edit, like, potentially skill trees, maybe? Um, because you're able to do some broken ass stuff in Xenoblade 2, um, with, with, uh, characters in particular. Because some characters, uh, I'm thinking of Mithra in particular, um, she had, like, a move that when you do a critical hit, it, um, uh, it re it makes it so you can do the move again. So, one of the best things you could do was build her up so every, every time she hit, she did crit. So you could just chain the move on itself over and over and over again. Which is pretty awesome. But yeah, dude. 
I haven't had a bath in so long. Like, I, I'm a shower guy, but that, I feel like that's mostly because, like, there's no good way to, like, take a bath without worrying about, like, whether or not you're, um, whether or not your water's gonna spill over the side of the tub. Because, like, most bathrooms don't have, like, a drain in the floor. So if it overflows, it's now just on the floor and it's got nowhere to go, so you need to mop it up. Certain arts effects will change based on your position relative to the enemy. Optimizing your position will reap positive effects like increased damage with back attacks. When your allies have an enemy's attention, it's time to get yourself in good combat position. Use arts from the side back when an enemy is targeting you. Player enemy positioning. The arrow icon displayed above the arts icon shows the position or player character in relation to the target. Enemy side to side. Uh, up. Okay. So right now I am the left of the thing I'm targeting. Now I'm behind it. Okay. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's a, that's a that's a good indicator of how you know when you're in position to do the thing, right? Cuz where previously it was just kind of like you had to eyeball it, I feel. You know, I do like how the super move isn't so OP that you're just insta-killing enemies with it. It's just stronger than your other moves. It's not like a guaranteed one-shot. Okay. I'm curious to see. I'm wondering if this is one of the games. It doesn't feel like it, but like I'm wondering if this is one of the games where um, uh, one of the games where like if you're always jumping, you're going faster, right? Where like jumping is just the fastest mode of movement. It might be if you're going downhill, right? Go. Okay. Good. We all leveled. So, and I'm already like a little bit ahead of schedule, right? Because I got a thousand. From Colony Nine. I got I got a thousand XP from using. Although maybe because I was in the tutorial, the XP was fake. I'm not sure, but I got plenty of XP because I used the amiibos. Will you do the honors? But. I'm willing to bet that maybe I didn't get it because I was the tutorial, potentially. Not exactly sure. Okay. So the interesting thing is, right, like, I'm getting XP for, like, the affinity. Um, but I'm not... I don't... Like, I don't have a menu to check it out. God, I, I really do like the, the, like, the style. Like, the, this Dark Tones style. I think it's really nice. Oh, but you gotta, gotta love that long distance draw distance. Come on, get up here. Fight with focus. I know, I know, I'll rein myself in. You know. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Yep. I keep, I keep trying to lock on with clicking in right stick as though I'm playing Dark Souls. There we go. Single enemies. Decently easy, as long as they're not super high above my level, which is nice. It's what you want. Let's save, because it's been a tad. Okay. So, did that one. It's good to keep a record. Yeah, so this top save is a quick save, and I'm curious to know... Yeah, so... It's good to keep a record. Yeah. So maybe that's just like... Because there's like an auto save, right? 
but this is different. Uh, arts combos. Laying certain arts one after another in a set order is called a combo. Yep. Only arts with special status effects can start a combo. For example, an art that inflicts break followed by an art that inflicts topple will topple an enemy. A longer combo is break, topple, daze, burst. Okay. So we've gotten to the daze. Um, uh, we've gotten to the point where... Um, yeah, I guess the daze but we don't have a burst just yet. Okay. You can review previous tutorials by going to System Training Drills in the menu. This will allow you to go over anything you may have missed initially. Ah, oh, that's nice. So training mode, that's always, that's always useful. Like any game that has combat, right? You want a training mode. That way in case you forget how to do something after stopping, you can just go back. New drill. Fundamentals of Bell. Arts, effects, and positioning. Okay. Learn learn to auto attack. New drill. God darn. Giving me just drill list. Yeah, just there we go. Wraithwood. I wonder if I'm gonna get a thing that lets me like jump higher. Or if I'm always going to have to ride that thin edge of life and death <laughs> with certain platforming. Like, not that the game feels bad when you're platforming. It's just, I presume this game is not a platformer. Yeah, like, you can do, like, gainers to a degree. Like, you can self-correct after afterwards. Hey, Colony 9. Okay, so colonies seem to be set up around big mechs. Oh, and I'm guessing that colony's big mech is what is, like, in the, um... It's what's in the fight. Like, it's that big thing. And that colony's, like, direct power is related to uh, how much the colony fights and wins. And therefore collects essence. There we go. Yeah, let's go. I will say this violin music, very good. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I can definitely see a couple of like the best upgrades in this game being increasing the rate of auto attack. That's definitely one that I can see being very good. Um, other than that, increasing damage of auto attack makes sense, or increasing rate at which your uh, arts uh, recharge also understandably really good. Uh, missed it. Uh, see, I don't know if I'm missing these guys because they're flying versus me being a grounded unit, but it feels like it. Yeah, I did. Yes, let's get it. Okay, so overall, I'd say... Overall, I'd say I like these characters already. Like, they definitely give me good, like, good existing friend group vibes. There go. These skeeters. Skeeter wings. Why'd you attack me, bitch? Okay, I'm at almost half health. Wonder. Okay, yeah, but you regen HP pretty quickly outside of combat, so you re like you really can just take combat moment to moment, right? Like continue combat is not a bad thing. Like fight after fight after fight because 
one, you get all your stuff back after a fight. Two, gonna go get that container. Oh. Two. They're from Colony Nine. Noah, will you do the honors? No, I was gonna have you play it, Lance. Um, because every combat, your moves reproc right from the get-go, and two, your HP regens really quickly. So there's just no downside. Okay. Fight with focus. Counting on you, Noah. We got the initial crusher. Nice one, Blabber. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Interesting. So you can do uh, art cancels even off of misses. That's surprising to me. I wouldn't have expected that. I would have expected a a miss to to straight up count against you. But you know, I think that that's a good thing because, like with auto battle, you don't really have any control, right? You only you have very minor control over like your character's base actions and stuff. So, making it so the no pawn coin silver, yo, awesome. So having it, so having it be able to be used an art off of it definitely helps. Oop. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Come on. Okay, so no always has to seemingly hit first, which is interesting. Okay, so it seems you can't link multiple arts together. You might be able to link a auto attack to an art to a secret art or whatever it's called, but not art to art. Let's come in here, get some water resources ponyo fossil uh, plate pothos yeah just wanna do the loop around yeah I can definitely see myself being in this game trying to like just grind stuff splendor shell nice It'd be like, okay, time to just go out and run around and collect the randomly spawning thing, because I'm not sure how quickly things respawn in terms of, like, consumable pickup items. Or not consumable items, but, like, resource items. But it doesn't feel like it takes all that long for them to reproc. Like, ones I picked up over there are already... Come on, pick it up. Already back. So that's... It's pretty significant. Like, I left there less than a minute ago. The fact that things are already back means like, they're gonna be reprocking. Repro so, especially if you're trying to get an an item in a specific location for a specific reason. Let's go. There we go. So now I am curious. How are how are my characters doing? So almost almost level six. Uh, a bit out. It's good to keep a record. Yes, it is. It's good to keep a record, and that is why I do it. Those snuffin' Agnians are gonna pay. <laughs> snuffin'. I snuffed it up. Ah, snuff. So, snuff seems to just be this F this world's F word. Ugh. Ah, may it back at last. What a hike. Such long walkings tough on legs of Riku. Riku totally pooped. Yeah, but your calves are gonna be made of steel. So is that just, like, where they go normally to fight their wars? It was a massive battle, but we don't seem to have taken too many injuries, fortunately. Eh, yeah, well, I guess that's the upside of going against a low rank no mark colony like that. On the flip side, we didn't manage to fill up the flame clock all that much. Flame clock. That's all for the best. At least we've all come back in one piece. I agree. 
And anyway, we should be alright on that front for the time being. Noah, talking out here just a waste of time. How about friends move chatter into bath? Good thinking. Let's do that. Yeah, let's all go bathe together. You know, real homies bathe together. Uni, let's go bathe together. So, seems like there's a thing called a flame clock. You, they want it to fill up, because that seems to do something beneficial. Flame clock, okay, here we go. Flame clock shows the amount of life's flames harvested from defeating enemies. The amount of flame will decrease as time passes. Your character's stats will increase as the flame clock gauge fills up. So try to keep the gauge filled up as much as possible to maintain stat increases. Okay, so you want to kill things a lot. Benefits of talking. If you see a, a star by a character's name, it means that they have something new to say. Talking to a person for the first time will also increase your affinity with their with their colony. Okay, interesting. So talk to everyone. So let's just start at the entrance. Um. Hey, thanks for what you did in the battle. We couldn't have made it back without you. I mean, four Le uh, Levenises from Colony Sigma? I had no idea how to handle that. I mean, I have a whole lot of Levenises in our colony. Yeah, how it can be a problem. Yeah, I wonder if we could get our hands on some reinforcements. Yeah, so does yellow just mean they said more? And about coming back at you. Okay, no. So yellow, yellow means you can talk, but star means it's new. Colony Sigma is defeated, but the flame clock hasn't increased much. You get into a fever pretty easy, huh? You made light work of those agonies with the Levness. You won't need to feed the flame clock unless we take him out with a blade. Be careful, isn't it? Okay, interesting. Okay, so they need the hand-to-hand -hand combat, basically. Otherwise, they're wasting lives. Relax, I'm a cool pilot, no hasty coup de from me. I deliver max pain punishment and then stop just short. Yeah, all right, if you say so. So, that is an interesting thing. So they need the weapons that we use to be able to do it. Okay, so Harala. When Levinus repairs all done, uh, Harala will move on to adjustment of power frames for Xeon and Kurt. Sounds like you're pretty busy right now. Meh. Before and after of battle, always get big higgly piggly around here. Anyhow, Harala likes jobs, so being busy not really so bad after all. Okay. Finally, I can soak my worries away. Yeah, but I. Yeah, but I want to take a look around first, a little bit more. Sock container. I oh, know that was dead. Sock container, but there are ladder symbols on. On the map, so that's good. Lorea, hey, you heard? Seems like Colony Nine's Pharonis won't be able to move for a while. Can't move, but may it back here from the battlefield. Thing is, looks like the engine took a bit of a being in the Battle of Colony Sigma, so those no pawn mechanics told us to shut it all down while they handle the maintenance. Yeah, right. That does sound like it's gonna be parked up here for a little while then. Okay, that is either not great or all right. The fact that we are essentially stuck in an area. Oh, special forces are getting back late. Yeah, well, that's because Noah was busy doing his usual officer thing. Oh, I dare say. You must be tired. You should turn in before it gets much later. Okay, so it's good to keep a record. quick save. Definitely imagine the quick save being very useful. Especially because it is actually pretty quick. It does not take all that much time. <laughs> Don't worry, this is it's on the Switch. Surely it can't be anything uh, non-family friendly. Yeah, look at all this steam. We're good. Oh, so shit, we actually do just take baths together. <sighs> I was not expecting this. Say, you know how you became an officer after what happened? Okay, something huh? happened. Uh, I guess, yeah. What happened? Okay, oh. 
friend died after getting crushed. Does it still hurt? No. I can't say I'm totally over it. But I'm getting there. You know. Trying to deal with trauma. So many of our comrades. It's still in hurt. A lot's happened. <laughs> Both for me and those sent on. Damn. The mm. like, the uh the wet anyway, skin. Worry about him. Or at least that light was going. I, uh... Poor guy. Pushes himself too hard. Yeah, like is that like mech parts or something? Or... What can we do? He's been like this for ages. Oh, he went in to save him. He never got to apologize, so... Oh, and that happened after I you know. ran away. Hmm? You guys talking about the battle? Don't worry about the bonus points, because I'll have nabbed them all. Uh, the snuff you on about? I'll have you know I clocked up a fair bit more. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm the one who took the heavy off its hinges. They give you loads of points. Ooh, big deal. Okay. If that so there's points. A few seconds later, you'd be sleeping in the dirt. Ah, uh, yeah, no, ah, uh, that was part of the plan. You couldn't tell. I just felt like giving you the credit. But don't okay. Worry. You can thank me later. So I guess the soldiers aren't really taught right, to guns. care, right? Like to be nervous or shy or embarrassed. All right, then. Off to bed with Societally. Me. Yeah. All that walking. Which makes really sense. Done a number on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Come on. okay. Let's go. Interesting. Yeah. So Healer Kid died soon after he ran away. Uh by getting crushed. Lands went in to go save him. Noah it stopped him. Okay. Interesting. See, I'm curious as to how fast the flame clock actually goes down. Okay, time to hit the sack, maybe? Yeah. Sure, let's do it. Rest to max! Resting very serious business! Indeed. Wasn't- I- wasn't sure if I was able to access those ladders that it had, or if I... Maybe I missed out on some affinity points. I don't know. Okay, are we under attack? Because we are now... Emergency assembly. It's the crack of dawn, guys. Uh, why? No idea. We better take a look. To get to the assembly point, we got to run through the Ferronis interior. I think Noah knows that, Lance. Okay, so chances are I was not able to come up here before. Willing to bet. Chances are they probably would have told me no go. Ooh, okay, can I jump over to that? Yes, I can, baby. Parkour, parkour! Turkin notebook, gemstone. There we go. Okay. Any other people? No, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. So that is the assembly. I want to check out the ladder first, though. See if I can use it. Uh, okay, so it's just like a regular ladder. You just hold up. I was expecting to have to hit like A to get on it, but it does not seem like that's actually how it works. Yeah, no need for that ladder. I can just jump. Let's see the camera angle in this area. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit odd. I hope we can make use but, of this. Oh well. Put coin silver. There we go. 
down. Dude, hardcore parkour. Come on. Hardcore parkour. Oh, yeah. Chances it's not going to fly. Ooh, my knees. Hey, man. I'm going to get my HP back. In me nigh immediately. Might as well. Might, might as well. Just drop. Remind me, what are we lining up for here? Royal decree from the castle. They say an enemy armored unit's approaching this area. Oh great! Come on, man. I just got to sleep and everything. Friends' fault for staying up late. <laughs> Your voice and is deep. And whose fault was it I couldn't sleep? I asked you to do the maintenance on my power frame, but you totally messed up my settings. Uh -huh. Ah, that probably different frame. Riku is popular guy fun, crushed by weight of fans asking to do favors. Sometimes mix up orders. Meh, if configs bamboozle, why not fix myself? That's why I didn't get any sleep, Furball. I'm here to announce today's mission. <laughs> Riku, deep voice. You have one target. It's currently on course for the suppression area here. Judging from the mass, it's expected to be large in size. And based on its speed, we estimate it will reach the Alfetto Valley at 0100 hours. Notably, the target's emitting a considerable amount of ether energy. As for your mission, deploy at the canyon by the designated time. Investigate and destroy the source of ether. Commander, one question. Go. About this target, can we assume it's from Agnes? We don't know. We haven't been able to confirm, but it seems that they're also gunning for it. This would suggest it should be seen as part of a different enemy force. Okay. Combat with Agnian troops in the area is also expected. Details will be sent to your iris after deployment. Okay, so it's called an iris. Clear? You are to remain vigilant throughout the operation. Dismissed. So the Agnian force isn't the only enemy force, it seems. So I'm curious as to how many factions there are throughout this world. Better start preparing to move out too. No, mate. Do you want to go to the commissary? Do some equipment shopping? Go get him togged out with something a bit more solid, yeah? Make him a bit less squishy. You should be flush with cash since we just got the reward for the Call Me Sigma job, right? I'll show you some top-notch accessories. Could do worse than take a bit of advice from a battle-worn hard case like Mwamba, huh? Cheers, Mwamba. Can we go to commissary? Commissary? Camilla's taking point on distribution this around this time, I reckon. Good to know. Alright, let's go and take care of the prep then. Oh, interesting. Wasn't even holding axe. Standard quest preparing for battle. Accepted. You can quest, press Y to check current objective for your current active quest. Will do. Purchasing items, items purchased with G, gold, and shops can be sold for G and shops. G gold, too long of a word. We need to shorten it. G! An item that has uh sell only items. And that has scale icon is a sell only item. Their only use is to be sold, so gather as many of them as you can to save lots of G for what you want to buy. No, nice. See, I always like when they specify that there are sell only items instead of having to figure out what items, you know, might not be only for that purpose. How's the power frame main is going? Everything up to spec? Yep, a bit underslept now, thanks to certain someone. You should have let again such a state, hey, to admit, but Agnes will always be the stronger ones. If our power frames aren't kept in tip-top shape, we won't be able to compete on even footing. I don't really need you to tell me that much. Um, okay. Hey guys, keeping the hustle alive, I see. Yeah, you could say that. Listen, could you get a bronze temple guard? I want to get no kitted out. Sure thing, here you go. So much choice. Do some shopping first. Go ahead and select buy. Go ahead and select the item you want. Purchase accessories will be sold, can be sold back at the same- Ah, oh, that's nice. So, boost maximum HP by 20, expand the window of opportunity for cancelling by 20%, that's nice. Rainbow gloves, boost dex, boost aggro generator from auto attacks, that'd be a tank item. Reduce aggro from auto, so that's an attack item. Grants armor veil to revived allies, extends break duration, boost block rate, boost amount of HP restored to self, 
Okay. There you have a bronze sample guard. You can exit the shop. I can be of some help. No, no. A bronze temple guard, eh? Nice, nice. Should make our job a bit easier, at least. Oh, yeah. Hurry up and put it on already. Yeah, I'm on it. So, is there... Okay, there's an accessory. I don't know, equip your new thing. Okay. So, we already did the accessory thing. Only one accessory. Yeah. So, why am I swapping off? Okay, so I guess if I didn't... Pick out the attack stone? Or get the attack stone? If I didn't open the container, I would have gotten that tutorial here? <laughs> Yeah, okay. You do feel a bit tougher already. Wow, that's the mark of a good piece of gear. Yes, I'm tough now. The commissar commissar commissaries stacked with useful bits and bops like that. You want to stop by every now and then. Anything to get an extra edge in the fight against Agnes, right? If we show some consistent results, the colony might be promoted too. I'll improve the quality of the equipment on offer here as well. We'll do our best to help make it happen. Thanks, Mwamba. All right, so we all geared up then. Let's get over to the plaza double time. Yeah. I gotta go talk to people. Huh? Really? Well, that's a pickle. Hmm? Oi, Noah, what's the hold up? We going or not? Yeah, sorry, it's just... You look troubled somehow. Oh, Spock's sake, you gonna put on your goody doo shoes cap now? T fine, let's see what's up then. Dude, I will say Lance is very large. He is tall. Quest will update when you have made progress in it. Press and to switch category. While confirming your current objective with Y, you can also press plus to check map me if it's any other objective. So, plus destination map, interesting. Commissary, assembly square. Okay, so I need to go talk to some people. Kite, oh, it's Kite. This mission is successful, the colony is gonna move up to iron rank for sure. Commander's pretty good spirits at the moment, a road to Kree is a road to Kree after all. You guys be dragging your feet now. Yeah, yeah, you be careful too, Kite, don't. Chase after victory, sorry, you end up dead. Eastman. This mission will be wrapped up in about three ticks. Three ticks seems a bit optimistic, mate. I like that you've shown some heart. But, okay, one full tick for all the actual fighting. If you can't bring the heat like that, you got no chance. Sure thing, mate. So take care of Garden. No, you can handle feeding the flame clock. Gotta to top the, up the commissary and salvage port, too. Cricket, you take them down, the more you can fight, right? Um, okay. Got our mech things. Trash. Hey, Lance, be sure to take good care of our only officer, would you? I got it, trying to make fire this kind of job after all. And make sure Union's looking out for you and not just Noah, yeah? We defenders still need healing. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We know what we're doing. Front gate. Destination for this mission is Alfetto Valley. It's still a ways away from here, though. It's a tough trek for a Levness. You sure your either cylinder is going to last the way? With these new Levnesses, we should be just dandy. That's why they sent them, I imagine. Gotcha. Just kind of big gun support you expect for Royal Decreed mission, huh? Royal Decree. Okay. Um, but I do want to go back to characters because I... Frankly, I do not like having the Bronze Temple Guard on. I like the other things. Damage, that's this. Eh, yeah, I want the that you can get that and you can get yeah, I'll give him the bronze temple guard because his HP being better is oh yeah and I can't even take this thing off of Mwamba so he's definitely not in the party forever 
he he's presumably as good as dead okay so let's talk to Carrie oh you're in your ninth term right oh wow okay I'm a ninth termer too I was hoping you could see me out for my homecoming but that could be tricky with us being the same term Carrie what can I say if I'm still allowed to do it I'll send you out for sure thanks that means a lot damn that's it's rough so Noah only has a a year left basically I mean I guess lands uni and Noah all only have a year left no, Lands Uni, I advise you to remain extra vigilant. You're awfully worried about Azion, don't you know something we don't hear? No, but the council can't uh, have come all the way to Colony now without good reason. I think we I assume that this mission is no ordinary one. Maybe you're the one that should be watching your step, mate. Those smarts of yours will get you in hot water. Okay. Open this container, I'm looking at you. Boom, give me these no pawn corns. Hello there, person, child, potentially. Um, okay. I'm gonna go talk to everyone prior to talking to Roald. Roald? Roald? Roald. Pollux. Royal decree from the castle, huh? Guess we gotta succeed at all costs, then. There's a bump the rank up for Iron, sure. Yeah, let's be a start calling a steady march forward. After Iron comes steel, then silver, and once we hit gold, we'll be at the Mayas colony in Keeps. Okay, so we're trying to increase colony, right? Goes by metals, pretty standard stuff, I would say. Let's use this. Let's use this ladder. Be nice if it could go a little bit faster, but huh? Nope. There we go. I was regening HP while I was falling. Like, we're good. Okay, so no new, no new talks here. So game definitely isn't uh, Falcom esque in having having dialogue update every five seconds with story events, which will be good, especially given that the. Talking gives affinity, which is presumably relatively limited. Not absolutely unlimited, but probably not the, uh, probably not the most. But yeah, so it seems like every one second is a minute in the world, as you can see on the right side. Hey, Roald, something the matter? Oh, Noah. Uh, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you from the big mission. Maybe it'll help us both in the end. Come on, tell us what's wrong. Uh, no, nosy as ever, I see. Thanks, though. You know about that urgent mission issue this morning, I suppose? Came up so suddenly we didn't have time to ready all the resources for the plant. I mean, we literally just finished fighting against Colony Sigma. Pretty frustrating, yeah. We picked the stuff easy enough, but that's not enough hands to go around, so I'm not sure if I can make up the shortfall. If that's all there is to it, I'd be happy to help. It'd be a quick job with more people, right? You would? Really? We've been assigned to the mission, too, so we're gonna need those supplies. Well, then, thanks. It's a load off my mind. Sure thing. What do you need? Here's the rundown. Chewy rashes, three. Clusterelles, also three. Finally, two portions of rich fish meat. Put the request up on the Collectopia card. Or, uh, er, up on a Collectopia. Would you mind double checking that you can see it? Collectopia card. Got it. Okay. So, from quests in the main menu, go to the Collectopia card tab to check what someone needs. Helping them will deepen your affinity and give your rewards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so go to quests. Uh, okay. Exit the menu once you finish checking. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, true your ashes, cluster L. Fish, fish meat. Um, items. Damn it. Right. Got it memorized. Sorry for the hassle, and thank you. Fish meat comes from the uh, piran uh, piranha axes swimming around the colony entrance. That's the tree radishes and cluster I think I remember picking them around there as well. So it's all in the colony area then? Great, at least we won't have to go far. And with us on the case, we'll get this done well quick. I appreciate it. Once we collect all the items, we'll just put them all on the Collectopia card, yeah? Exactly. Once you've registered them there, you come talk to me again. Be I'll be here checking and packaging the goods. Alright, will do. 
Actables need uh, good, they need to complete quests. Interesting. Okay. So neat, I love it. So Okay, so I have none of the specified things. Yeah, so I jumped down and now I have a better thing. Okay, so I need to kill some Paranaxes, then I need to... Uh... Here we go, guys! Right on! Make sparks fly, no? There we go. Come here! I got something for you! Thanks! Extra! Cool. I'm gonna have to pick some radishes. Give me your meat. Give me your meat. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Give me your meat, baby. Okay, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. See, it's funny because, like, the combat ends so quickly, you don't even get to really hear the, um, hear the music all that much. Um, okay, cool. So the quest oh, updates with where you're able to pick them up and stuff. Okay, and this would, if you were just beelining it, this would make it so, um, this is, so you have to go up there where you found like a person to um uh like whistle at. Okay. Yes. Then let's snap them up. I reckon. I reckon. Yeah, we give him the usual, but he's gonna beat the crap out of this rabbit first. Boom, bit. Okay, I need some radishes. Give me radishes. Delicious. After gathering required collectibles, go to quest, collect PD cards, and hold A to register. Yes. God, the thing takes fast. It, like, it doesn't... It, it's not It's not fast. It's actually pretty slow. It's like, okay. We just have to persevere. See, this is nice. Light, weak guard. Where... Where you don't need to go back to the person to hand them the stuff. Just... It just registers. Like, if you had to do, like, the travel thing, like, go back to the person that handed it to you, it would kind of suck. So, not having to do that, pretty nice. Um, see, what it does make me question. So, you can do control guide options quest route, item, system, area, map, save. I was hoping that there would be one for, like, quests. But no, there's just quest route. Oh, well. Um, ooh, I wonder. Can I use fast travel? Can't skip travel here. Or can't skip travel right now. Okay, so I'd, I've, I've yet to unlock the ability to fast travel. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Come on, guys. Yo, give me all your meats. Because once again, I'm I'm taking these combats because I fully believe wholeheartedly that I'm gonna need what these things drop at some point, right? Like this game seems like the kind of game where. Everything is gonna have some quest purpose. 
differently, regardless of how low level that item may be. Also, extra XP, not bad, especially at the start of a <laughs> the start of a game. Um, okay. Let's go someplace else. Yeah, so let's hide that quest because we don't need to keep showing it. Gloria. Um, oh yeah, I should probably quest. Here we go. Get that out. Items. Mark all. That's wonderful. Tips. Benefits of talking. Yeah. Just want to make sure that these aren't one thing that always gets me is when you have a system that tells you when something's new and it's just just always active as like, oh, there's something new. It's like, no, it's not new. I've, I've known it's been there. Um, one, two, check. So I got the light weak card boost block rate. Um... Uh, you know, I'll keep, I'll keep the health. I'll keep the health. So what are these skills? So it's got bull rush, crash out, uppercut, slash, build info. Okay. Let's save. I haven't saved in a little bit. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm just really rotating two saves for the most part. Along with a quick save and the auto save. Which I, I think covers me enough. But god damn. It's like, look at, look at that big ass plume of light. Being like, hey, this is the quest. Go here, do the quest. Big plume of light. Freaking... Bottle of water has like a little sharp bit pissing me off. I kind of like I cut myself oh so slightly. So, you know what? I'm gonna go take a file to it. I have a file. That's what we're talking about, baby! Ugh. Got a nice file, and boom, now it's all smooth around. Ah! Got all the things you asked for! Yeah, I saw the notification. Thanks a lot. That should be us, then. I can arrange the necessary supplies now. You can? Great. Then we're glad to have been of service. I'll be sure to repay you after the big up. Be sure to come back alive, eh? Of course we will. Of course. Okay, so that's their salute. Interesting. Hmm. Never used them before, but those Collectopedia cards sure seem nifty. After nine years of life. Well, duh, they let you know what your fellow soldiers need so everyone can chip in. Give you an example. I'm always on the lookout for fortune clovers, right? But they're a right pain to spot. So if I pop a request on my card, someone else might see it and send me one if they find it. That's the rough idea. So let me get this right. You've got this wicked system at our fingertips and you're using it to dig up weeds. So dumb. You dare? We're all soldiers here. Never know if you'll still be here tomorrow, but still. It's a nice feeling when someone you've met remembers you, thinks about your needs. Yeah, it's a good system. Whoever made out the right idea. I bet you've been checking up on your Colony 9 buddies every now and again like through your iris, eh? Absolutely. Well, you just be sure to check up on me as well, alright? Make it a daily ritual. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Mamba. Would recommend to make tracks for assembly point about right now. Shoot, you're right. 
We're assembling by the Colony 9 front gate, right? Hmm. Let's go as soon as you're ready to camp. Yeah, let's do it. There's only so much I can do right now in the game. Right for battle. Oh, okay, so quests give you XP, gold, SP. Setting up arts. Okay, here we go. You can save your character's arts by going to the characters and arts menu. Setting up arts. Arts can be customized for each character. Select arts. Normally you can switch between characters anytime we're pressing L or arts. Okay. First off, you need to select an existing art to be replaced with a new one. Ground B. Okay. Next up is an art to, uh, is select an art to set to the select slot. Air slash. Okay, so frontward AOA. Buff self halves own aggro value. Okay. Air slash. Um. Wow, okay, so there's only 25 seconds. Air slash! Once you say air slash, you can leave the menu. Yeah. Arts. Um, air slash turn to ground beat. But edge thrust boosts damage when attacking from behind. Air slash when canceling boosts damage dealt. Um, sees edge thrust is 130%. This is 290 if this gets boosted by 100%, that goes to 260, but yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do that. As long as I do that one smart, it's gonna be better. Okay, arts, yours is either one, yeah, myopic, AOE around user healing, um, debuff. Buff debuff accuracy down, recharge one target vortex, AOE around user, ether attack. Um heals nearby allies when art hits to max HP. Ah, okay, okay. I'd rather have that. I'd rather have that. Two attacks on her. Bull rush. Um buff debuff reaction topple, one target, frontward AOE, one target. What was this? Variable turret blocks enemy attacks while art is active. Solid stance reduces damage taken by 25% and damage dealt by 25%. Okay, okay. One target 230. The uppercut slash is 330. Boost aggro. Aggro topple. Uh, so I'll have him swap. 230, 18, 230. Boost aggro generated when using our Yeah, okay. Fine. Okay, interesting. I can I can change his stuff. Okay, neat. Neat, neat, neat. Wikipedia card. Oh. We just had to persevere. Rala. Okay, got a tool belt. Yeah, so that's why you collect stuff. Boost damage dealt to machines by 60%. So that's really good. I can imagine. Really wish there was a tip one of like, it's oh hey, mark all the tips as done. Be pretty sweet. You don't know how glad I am to have a great guy like you around now. As you should be. It's gotten into you. Hey, guys. <laughs> got things to get off our chest. <laughs> New game, who dis? Yeah, right? No, I, you know, I wanted to play this game. I've been waiting for it for a bit. Well, I'm not the biggest Xenoblade fan. I, I certainly like it. But yeah. And, yeah, I know. New, so a whole bunch of people are playing it right now. But I'm going to be taking it a bit slower and also playing some of it on my off time as well. Hope you're doing well, bud. Hope you're ready for yeah. Sunday. Now we're bringing out the oh, big shoulder. Big guns. What's up? Our rank. It is copper, right? Talking about colony ranks. I mean, we did win big yesterday. It'll only be a matter of time before we make iron. 
That'll be it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> that mm, uh -huh. not Looks happen. like they're rolling out silver rank for this operation. Silver rank? What would they be doing here? Orders are orders. Can't complain about their help, though. Hmm. Is this a suicide mission that they're trying to send us on? Or... We're moving out. Wedge formation until point D. Don't fall behind. Okay, going well so far? Yeah, it's going well. I'm liking the game. It's very interesting. The, the world that they're setting up. Basically, lives are quite literally resources. Like, there's, like, life juice. And each of these people has been, like, artificially created with said life juice. And they're only able to live ten years. Like, like they're born at, like, the age of, like, let's say ten to twelve and then trained as child soldiers. And then they only get to live for ten years maximum if they don't die. Um, at which point they're given like a sending off ceremony and they burst into vapors of life particles. It's interesting. Hey, what's up? Getting a call from Roll. Hey, no, sorry to be a pain in the bum, but I was wondering if you mind doing me one more huge favor. Sure, no problem at all. What's the trouble? It's just I happened to skim over everyone's Collectopedia cards earlier and, uh, well, looks like a bunch of people are still a bit behind on preparation for the big mission. If you happen on anything they could use while you're out and about, would you mind throwing in them to using the cards? Here you loud and clear. When we find the materials, we can just register them on the Collectopedia cards. Right? That's right. Same as always. Sorry and thanks again. Blue is in the goo. Eh, well, it's more like red is in the dead. Because <laughs> it's red stuff that comes out of them. Or it was yellow. Actually, it was red, yellow, and I think there was some blue? I think... Yeah, it, it it's weird, but it's interesting. It's a very interesting world that they've set up here. Um, especially because the opening cutscene was of these characters as children, but not artificially done. So it seemed like there was like a world collision, potentially, that really messed up how things worked, maybe, potentially. I don't know. There's a lot of game. Apparently, the uh, apparently they post on Twitter where it's like, oh, yeah, like the... The campaign takes about 150 hours to beat. <laughs> and it's like, oh boy. Oh lord, boy. That's a big one. <laughs> oh, we eating good tonight. <laughs> that speed run's gonna be about 50 hours. <laughs> They're all shows like sticking his beak in other people's business. Remind you of anyone else we know in lands? Ah, bang on. Still, at least there's rewards attached to it. I say we go for it the way everyone benefits. How very like lands to weigh benefits so careful like. What'd you say for a ball? Everyone's British or Scottish or Irish or Welsh. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get our heads back in the game and be on our way to Alfredo Valley. Uh, but how about you, bud? Still playing some uh, Minecraft, Pokemon Minecraft? Okay, Asia region, Izana Plains. It's these down the plains. Damn. <laughs> yeah, right. It's big chunk. In the map, accessible from the menu, you skip travel to instantly travel to any discovered landmarks or secret areas. Monster types. Monster split into four categories. Normal, elite, unique, and lucky. You can tell them apart by looking at the symbol displayed next to their level indicator. Normal monsters that don't require much of a strategy in order to defeat, so long as you're a similar level to them. Okay. Elite monsters. Enemies that are familiar with further level. Great for challenging yourself once you feel a little more used to the battle system. Unique monsters, incredibly strong foes that are very challenging even when you're at their level. Going in with a sound strategy will not get you very far. Lucky monsters, enemies that you'll be lucky to find out on the field. They're strong as normal monsters, but will give out far better rewards when defeated. Nice. Enemy ecology. When enemies perform certain actions, you will see a red exclamation point icon displayed. It might drop items or cause rams to appear, but it pays to stay observant. Hmm. But also, the Avoid Chronicles is well known to be a game that really will just throw you in on the deep end in terms of um huh? is that... uh in Why terms of like enemy difficulty go
go. Let's take out the ads first. Uh, I'm like a man behind on stream. I was playing regular modded Minecraft early, waiting for a certain someone for Halo. And I, yeah, <laughs> certain someone. I thought you were playing uh, Halo on Tuesday. Did that fall through? Or is his computer acting up? See, it is interesting because it seems like all of the Xenoblade Chronicles games have some level of like reminiscence to, um, reminiscence to, um, uh, almost like, uh, MMO kind of deals, right? Where it's like, you got auto attack being the main thing. Um, but you gotta, like, time certain other things. Just push it in. Ah, okay. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Hey, come on. Heal him, please. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. There you go. Uh, how do I get you up? How do I get you up? See, I thought I would have this thing in the bag because... How do I get you up? <laughs> I don't know how to get her up. XP. Okay, so there's an elite bonus. Okay, luckily she also got. But yeah, so in this game, or in most Xenoblade games, there are just skirmishes. Across Aeonis, you will find groups of enemies fighting each other. You can engage in these battles by choosing a side to back up, winking result in special rewards. When knowing the other spots on the entrance, you can hold zero to focus. Um. Cool, you assist. The wood, yeah, okay. Interesting. Here we go, guys. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's almost kind of like a, a single player MMO in terms of like controls, right? Where it's like, you got auto battle, where just be close and you attack them. Or, and, and like you have your moves that you use at whatever times that you want. Like I guess, if I'm thinking of it, chances are with like the combos, it's probably more reminiscent of like Final Fantasy XIV than anything. Conclusion. Yes, give me those Colony 9 affinity points. You're welcome. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Um, okay, but I wanted to go to those question marks. Okay. And that's... Huh? Is that... Okay, then we got some claw gar mills. Yeah, I like it. It's a good game so far. Pollux. Who wouldn't have expected to see you here, Pollux? Yeah, well, the big mission's underway. There's a supply drop. There's a blown away, of course. You're going to Skyview Falls. Why don't we pick it up then? And drive our bang away. Seriously, what a lucky day. Special Forces are the best. Well, then, if you do manage to collect it, feel free to hold on to it. It's all stuff mentioned for front lines, anyhow. Should come in useful. You. One button off my back. Wasn't looking forward to getting chewed up by Commander. That's weird, Rory, is it? Joking, just joking, my how y'all go. Okay, so question marks are quests. Good to know. Once again, MMO-like. Although, I feel like at this point, question marks are almost unanimous Noah, with side quests. But yeah, as you can see over there, there are just level 22s wandering around. Um, they will F you up. 
the game does not stop you from going to fight them. The game is like, yeah, you you chose to do this. You chose to do it. Yeah, I, I also like how in this game enemies will be so much bigger than you and you can still just fight them and kill them like you're just beating a titan <laughs> I'm beating up a titan <laughs> yeah, Don't be using gastric acid, that's gross, that's nasty bud it's not hygienic. Um, okay. Uh... Any other quests? No, the quest was over there. I want to... Explore Ted. <laughs> Knife. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no exploration! Level 22's be yonder! But I do want to collect some of these items. Because I can send them to people. Hopefully, I imagine. Uh, characters. Accessories. Did I pick up an accessory or something? Black mask, terrestrial life. Honestly, this wouldn't be bad to have on. Let's put that on. Yeah, you definitely need help, though. Um, let's come to quests. Collectopedia, did yours, got one blue chain, we just had to you, good, black mask, thank you, Trish, That's all of them. that, give me your affinity, oh, you can do it multiple times, oh, okay, so that's how you can probably grind out affinity to a certain degree, right? The first one will get you a unique award, like a friendship ring or apprentice van braces, but every subsequent one will just get you XP and affinity. That's nice. That's that is a smart choice to have as, uh, to have that one. Black mask, boost trash, okay, so that's a, so there's Regular black masks, then there's boosted blast black masks. Friendship ring, juices aggro generator from healing arts. It's pretty good. Oh, interesting. So there are even like suggested healing um uh Okay, that's neat. So there's even like, oh, you're this class, you should have this on or this on. Like suggested accessories. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. Let's go someplace else. Um. Okay. Well. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Come here. I got something for you. Your lightsaber. Boom. Cancel. Huh, Everyone, let's beat the shit out of them. The nice part is, I can, I can just play hands free for a little bit. It's a perfect streaming game. I need some focus. I have a feeling at some point they'll let me control the other characters, like swapping out who I'm controlling and who who I'm not. But I'm curious as to when that will be. There we go. Things. Damn. Side break, bitch. Air slash! Click, 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 click. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't need my hands on the controls all the time. I can I can take a little take take I can take a little rest. Drink some water while I'm doing it. Lenny? Lenny, aren't they? Huh. Let's ask him what's wrong. What's up, Lenny? Lenny, are you alone here? No, huh? 
I let down Django and the others. Tell me what happened. My team was wiped out. We ran into a rave magic monsters at Sonata Saddleback. That's Grave Bunnet Country. <laughs> That's Grave Bunnet Country. <laughs> and they attack in swarms. Yeah, there were just so many that we were just overwhelmed. The power frame was broken and the others defended me. We were so close to the colony. I'm sorry. No, I want you to ask you to do something as an officer. Play for my friends. Please send them on. Django and Olivia Ann and Marlin. Before monsters get to them. Of course. Can you give us the coordinates? I'll send the name for the iris. Thank you for doing this. Sure, I'll go... I'll go send off the person. Oh yeah, let me let me get the let me get the good shit. Mmm, gonna be great covered in butter. I suppose this one's one of the rare ones, so I'll be getting better items from this. Hmm. But yeah, like, this game's gonna take me a while to get through. Just because, as I said, campaign 150 hours. I'm certainly not gonna be playing it straight, 150 hours straight, and I'm going to be doing side quests, which is probably going to elongate the process quite a bit. Um, now... Uh, now, it, it's quite interesting because I'm, I'm willing to bet by the time, uh, I finish this game, um, that, um, Fontana will probably have, uh, done quite a bit more of his games, because he's, he's set to start Xenoblade 2 pretty soon, I think. Getting close to his Xenoblade Chronicles X. He's not. He, Raz, I'm glad that you're here. Uh, uh, until you got here, this channel unmodded. Because basically, Fontano is a big fan of Xenoblade. Um, but he hasn't played like all the games, so he's playing them in order. And he doesn't want to get spoiled on this game. So. <laughs> he's, uh, he's not watching. Okay. Yeah, crack a nut. A sweet pea, yeah, but it's a sweet as in like a room, not a sweet as in it's sweet. Skyview Falls. We'll get some good use out of this. Okay, let's get this big ass chest. I'll need a hand here. Yeah, friendship. A chest that needs two people to open it. Look at me, I'm the captain now. You're the captain now. Quest complete. Yeah, supplies have been achieved. XP, gold, SP. What is SP? Is that like skill points? Uh, damn it. <laughs> Sometimes the controls get uh, a little bit wonky depending on how far away the uh, controller gets from the console. Because I got a whole bunch of tech right in front of my screen, so where it's pointing, it'll get like all disrupted. But my switch is like literally behind me. So, sometimes the, uh, Here we go, guys. Let's give him the uh, sometimes the, whatchamacallit, um, uh, I don't know, transmission controls will keep going. Topple! Yeah, I would love it if I could get a first move. Because we're able to get to the daze phase of it, but we can't burst. Can't We can't do the longest combo. There we go. So at least this one doesn't have ads. It's just a. It's just a um. Just a, just a big one. Come on, Hayes. There we go, Days. Okay, so it seems like they're 
their um, AI is made such that you, they want to elongate the best period as much as possible, which makes sense given that essentially all your moves are timer based. God damn it, you missed that. Okay, Land seems to have good HP. Almost at half health. I'd love it if I could get the final thing. The final right move, the nice super art. But I'm not sure. Honestly, I might switch Air Slash back off and go to Back Attack. Because I think the Back Attack one recharged faster than Air Slash. So if I'm able to do it more often, the time is probably better than just having the cancel attack up. There you go, baby. Got it. Awesome. Conquered. Hey, Air Slash, that's the move from Smash Bros. No, that's Back Slash! Well, actually, Air Slash might also be in Smash. I can't quite remember. But I believe my character here is also using... Guys, look. Perfect game. It's totally not in the floor. Totally not in the floor. We got a, we got a land lobster over here. We got a land lobster. <laughs> land lobster. It's a perfect game. Hunt, like, easily the most well-coded game I've ever played. <laughs> Come on. No, it, like, it can't move. It's literally stuck there. Perfectly optimized. I mean, it is optimized. It's absolutely still. What better for me to beat on? Okay. Do this, do this. Open the container. Look at these no pine cones. Um, okay, so I want to go to quests. Check here. I already did that. Didn't get another blue chain. Uh, characters. Yeah, let's do arts. Um, I don't like air slash. I want edge thrust again. Um, yeah, because the recharge time on this one is 11 seconds versus 25. So, I can do that move twice, and if I'm positioned correctly, get the boost before uh, the other one even gets to do once boosted. Ugh. There we go. Purple ring, pine, paste bean. Uh, actually... Didn't I have another quest? Activate that quest. Um, God damn it, you bastard. Boom, bitch. Two fire, two two enemies in this combat. That's good. Maximize that efficiency. There we go, get that out of there. Yeah, also having the other back attack move makes it so I can get the um, final move a lot faster. Because I have two moves that I can use to actually get the gauge to go up. 
because uh, rise there's even like a system in this game where doing things that are appropriate with your class right attacker tank healer makes it so you can use your special moves sooner so it's literally it's like talking about mmos it's like nah dude like if you're a tank play tank <laughs> you grew if you grouped up as a heal as a druid we're expecting you to heal as a druid not not be not be off deeps come on man <laughs> Opulent Flummy? Yeah, this Opulent Flummy is going to die. Yes, yes, indeed. Opulent Flummy, but I'm multi-role. I don't care if you're multi-role. I don't care if you're multi-roll, multi-ball. Okay. Um. Why did I have a problem? It's good there to keep go. a record. Quick save. Kind of wish I could set quick save to the quick menu <laughs> oh, instead of regular there. save, but oh well. Um. Yeah, have I explored this way yet? No, I haven't. Let's explore this way. Guess we can go this way too. Yes. Are you serious? You, you, you missed a freebie, no? Come on, man. We got a genius over here. I want something a bit meatier, does he? About my cock? It's a bit meaty. Ayo! Okay, come on over here. Oh, there's a container out on a precarious ledge. Dark Jaws Cape. Gonna have to go get that. Yaw yeet. Jump off of that. I hope we can make use of it. Okay, seafoam soap, gemstone. Oh god, look at the look at them level 50 piranhas down there. See, the thing that I like about um um uh, the thing that I like about games where you have an open world where enemies populate it and some of those enemies are like a lot higher level is because it immediately gives you the knowledge that for some reason whether it be story or a side quest or something you're gonna be coming back here later right this isn't just a beginning only area because like i remember playing or I, I say i remember i i know i've played games where it's like oh yeah this area is cool but it's just beginning of the game or low level for me now so there's no real reason for me to ever go back I'm never going to get to enjoy it other than just like walking through it easy peasy. Yeah, dynamic. Whereas in this game, or in every Xenoblade game, it's like, oh no, like there's, yeah, he'll just be walking through and Big Chungus is right over there. Over there. What are they doing with Django and the others? Probably trying to eat them. Let's stop them. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like red life goo. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna take off turret and put on another aggro move for Lance. Um, because he seems to like, as I do a lot of damage, he seems to not be able to hold aggro perfect now, which is not great for me. Ooh, Booter Bunny Baby. go. There we go, here's the move. 
Brutish bonnet, Peppy. Yeah. And now I can uh, send off the we soldiers can't it like this. by looting it all up, sending their red life juice away. But yeah, I said it earlier uh, in the stream, Rias, but uh, like that flute that he's playing, the people who made the game and like the music, they actually had a replica of said flute made for the to, like the sound of that flute in the game is the sound of the replica flute. Like they crafted it to have it in the game soundtrack and stuff, and ha that way it's like more in the world. I'm like, that's cool. That that's an extra step that you don't need to take most of the time. I'm not sure what makes that flute different than other flutes, but it's pretty cool, right? Like, cause that's like, oh, someone has the flute that this character uses, and it's like the actual flute, right? This is the flute that made this character's flute sounds. And, like, it's one of a kind. It was made for it. It's like, damn, that, that's neat. Hello, I'm gonna kill this rabbit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take off the turret thing. Let me just, uh... Go. Luckily, all my people are level 7, so these guys... Level 4s ain't nothing. Level 4s ain't shit! Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab this rabbit in the rear end. Just boom. Good side slash. But yeah, it's even it's even like all MMOs where it's like, oh look at this collision. <laughs> look at this jank collision. I shouldn't be able to hit you from this distance at this angle, but I can. <laughs> uh, and that's why we love him. Um, okay, what do I wanna do? I wanna go into his Skills, no, arts, that's it. I wanted to take variable turret and place it. The crash out. So it'd be a bit better. Hey, Lenny. I sent off your friends. You sent off your friends. Thank you. Are you okay? Uh, my friends just died, no, but I'm doing all right as well as could be. <laughs> this isn't the first time I lost friends. I don't know why I can't get used to the feeling. You don't have to get used to it. Is that what you think as an officer? Anyway, you've seized my heart a little. Thank you so much. No problem, bud. And give me the XP. That's all I helped you for. Huh? You talk to Lenny. I just report what happened to Django in the end of the colony. You are ahead for Alfino Valley, right? You get in touch, but just hit me up over your eyes, okay? Thank you, but I think the area might be involved in Black Fog. Black Fog? Ugh, yeah, that's about trouble for communications. Okay, so Black Fog interrupts communications. And that's going to be tough indeed, but keep your words about you. Okay, so there's an idea of black fog. Similar almost almost similar to Scarlet Nexus, where it's like the 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 cloud above like the above everything interrupting wireless transmissions. Oop, hello there, Flamingo. Nope. Fight with focus. Toppled stuff. Boom. Boom. There we go. Yes, overclock buster. Overclock buster. Gonna bust that overclock. More like overclock buster, hey, yo. Bam! Back attack. Okay. Go. Bird. 
Freaking bird, get over here. Stop being such a bird, you bird. I have deemed you to be worthy of killing you, bird. Yeah, stop flying around, you bird. I like the word bird. <laughs> Don't you know about the word? Oh, everybody knows bird is the word. I want to bird. Bird is the word. Yep. And we all know what show that popularized that. Surfing bird. There you go. Boom. You know, we just like walking around and killing the local fauna and wildlife. It's what we do. It's only appropriate. This world is trying to kill us as well. Until it's not. At which point, you know. Deforestation is totally good for the planet. We're halfway there. We're looking back now. I'm gonna get in the way. We're halfway there. Okay, so let's save there. Um, characters. So he's almost at rank 10 with Sword Fighter. Curious as to what that means. Does it mean, like, I don't know what it means, what ranking up the class does. Whether it means, like, you get more skills or something. Okay, gotta go help my boys. Time to beat the crap out of these lobsters. You stupid lobster. Level up, you stupid lobster. That's what you get, you stupid lobster. Overclock buster. Yo, buster, I'm coming at you. Coming at you, nine to five. My hands, you can't you can't see them, they're going too fast. Catch me with your hands outside. Catch me outside. Boom. <laughs> Wish we could have avoided killing these lobsters. Sure would have been great to not have to kill random lobsters, but hey, what what can you do? Sometimes they come in asking for it. Sometimes they just, you know, carry their own own stick of butter with them. And then they're just like, oh hey, I guess I guess I gotta guess I gotta eat you. Didn't want to, but you know, if you're just gonna come at me with all the tools necessary to make you a delicious goddamn meal, then you know, I guess I will kill you. But hey, man, don't, don't come crying to me once uh, once you find out that you are carrying around the thing that makes you most delicious. I'm looking at you, Farfetch'd. Why the flip are you carrying around the leek? You're just ca you're carrying around the veg to your meat. <laughs> come on, man. Oh, yeah, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, no, just listen to this. I'm supposed to rendezvous with another team at this location, but the appointed time has come and gone, and I've seen neither hide nor whisker of them. Rude or what? Now, hold on a flaming second. You sure they were being rude? Couldn't something have happened to them? Oh, maybe. When did you last hear from them? Hmm, they report their arrival at Shark Jaws Cape, and since then, not a peep. Shark Jaws Cape, right? You can go check it out. You guys go ahead with your assignment. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Sorry for blowing my top earlier. You're fine. We'll handle it. We'll be careful not to get lost yourself, eh? Don't treat me like a sparking rookie. Oh, thanks, though. Okay. Oh, look over there. Save the foe. So, um, actually, huh? air that? map. Um, okay, so it's probably over there, but I want to find, oh. actually, I want to find there. a place that I can that? fast travel to. I wonder if there's a setting to make the minimap transparent. Right, like this. Because this is very large, center of the screen. Would like to be able to see my character when it's up. But maybe, maybe they made it not transparent because they don't want you to perpetually have it up. 
wouldn't surprise me. Dude, climbing this mountain. Look at this. I'm a mountain climber. You ever just go look at a mountain and know that you can scale it with basic platforming skills? Yeah, I look at I look at mountains like that all the time. Ooh, look at this. What the hell are you? Hey, isn't this valuable? Odd six angled shard. Neat. We'll we take those. We take odd six angled shards. What the hell is an odd six angled shard? Is that? No. Okay, I guess it was a random rare item. Okay, time to break my knees. Ah, my knees! Okay. Gonna heal my knees really quick. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Go, get that one out immediately. Feather vein of pain. Oh, interesting. Not want to fall off. Would really like it if you could move up a little. Move. Yeah, like you're actually just in a terrible position for me. If we're being real. Here. Come on. Thank you. Okay, do not want to fall off this thing. The bird doesn't seem to really be able to do attacks on me until it moves up, so that's good. Oh god, okay. Well, he just knocked me back into next week. XBCP gold. Rank up. Nice. Okay. Um, ooh, there's a whistle guy over there. Knees! Gotta go whistle this brother. Friend, friend, where, where be, where beest thou? I need to whistle thine body. Knees, oh knees. Such is the Ossia's duty. Uh, I'm not sure about you guys, but um, if you're ever playing games where like you drop a long distance, do you ever get like vertigo or like your stomach dropping or whatever? Like, I know I would get it sometimes when I played, like, Assassin's Creed games where, like... Because most Assassin's Creed games always have, like, oh, this is the highest point you can jump off of. And it'll be, like, really high. <laughs> and you'll just be hanging in the air for a good while, or, like, a couple seconds at least. And, like, after a bit, I, like, I could feel my, like, stomach start to, like, almost flip, I guess. The same, like, feeling that you get when you're on, like, a, a drop ride at a theme park. Or amusement park or whatever. Okay. It's good to keep a record. Um, okay. So, I am willing to bet that... Yeah. Okay. Just gonna have to go there, base, and then walk back. 
Well, actually, yeah, I guess this isn't too bad because there's the jump across. So let's come over here. But also, fast travel in this game, pretty darn quick. Like, that's nice. That's what you want. <laughs> fast travel isn't fast, then why do it? Yeah, we're killed so many things, we're at double the level. And also, once again, potentially used my amiibo for a thousand XP. Not sure if it applied, because I did it still during like, the tutorial, but hey, I did it. Oh, thank the flame if you hadn't shown up, but I don't even want to finish that sentence. It's fine, I'm just happy you're okay. How are you along to Laura, would you? She's been worried sick. Yeah, we'll do that straight away. Thanks, we owe you. God, how do you guys get anything done without me around? Goddamn fools. Fools. Okay. Yeah, so there's the there's that bridge over there, that nice little jump. So that's that's probably why they're fine with not having the teleport back. Um, okay, so that makes me God, I keep doing I keep pressing plus because in other games that's like the start button, but this one it takes you to the map. <laughs> I'm like, this is so weird to have it not be the thing that it is in, like, every other game. Okay. Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> uh, see, when you, when you say that, all I can think of is, um... Oh, well, I think it was in Bo Burnham's What special. There's like one of his songs where he goes, Dance, monkey, dance! <laughs> and, like, it's really good. Oh, yeah, you still haven't watched um, Inside, right? Because that, one, that one's fantastic. Highly suggest. Hell, I mean, in a, on the car ride, I could uh, still have it. On the car ride, I could probably just open up. I, I think there's a. Uh, an inside, like, all songs playlist. So we could, that could be something we listen to. Okay. But yeah, it's a good special. He recently came out with, like, um, like, the outtakes, or, like, the cut content for Inside, and, like, released that as its own, like, 40-minute thing. Because he did so much for this one special that he had more. Like, just crazy. Because, like, there's very little not song, I would say, in the Inside special. Like, most of it is song. Did I... Was there a container over there? I don't think there was. No. I don't think there was. Yeet. There we go. See that? That's good world design. Know that there's a fast travel point over there. Know that you're going to put a quest over there. Know that chances are... Well, know that you pick up the quest over here. Right? Like... And there, therefore put a jump across. Make it so you don't need to have two fast travel points. But you still... Here we go, have guys. the benefit. Right fly, no. Go... Boom, juice in the fruit. I love I love how the name of the enemy changes to whatever attack they're using. So you know like what their attack actually is. Like what what's that in their skill move set? It's called juice in the fruit. It's 
Good damage. God, yeah, back attack just charges so fast. You always want to have that on, I'm presuming. Okay, well, it'd be nice if you hit. I'm glad because this weekend's a long weekend, and I haven't had one of those in, since the last holiday, basically. So it's gonna be fun. Uh, but soon, it's gonna start my, like, period of the year where I just have long weekends, hopefully. Because instead of taking a week, I just take Fridays or Mondays, depending on what will get me a three-day weekend. Um, and what, like, is a holiday and what isn't and stuff, so. Soon I will have essentially every weekend until the end of the game, uh, until the end of the game, until the end of the year. Off, or, it's gonna be great. Oh, really? If I walked a tad more, I actually could have fast-traveled? Oh, well. But the drive was only 30 years old. It feels like a long time! <laughs> it feels like an eternity! Please understand my pain. It's good to keep a record. I am oh so desperate. Black mask, trash your life. Come back, black. Some amount of HP healed. See, that wouldn't be bad. Friendship ring reduces aggro generator from here. Nice. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have you boost your amount of heal, because I have a feeling we're probably going to be getting to, like, a boss or something soon. Uh, and I certainly do not want to, uh... It's good be, to keep uh, a record. Be, mm, <laughs> be low on healing capabilities. Hmm? For a full rollout of essentially our army, we seem to be getting stuck on the local small wildlife far too much. Like, the guy literally said, stay in wedge formation until we reach the point. It's like, okay, everyone, wedge formation. That means spread out. <laughs> Do your own thing. Hey, check it out. Spear the spearhead squad. Huh? Both? Not much of an enemy if you take them on one at a time. Still, the objective of the op is still ahead. If these guys are hitting impasse, we ought to help them. I thought you'd say something like that. Ah, these the spearhead squad sucks ass. Hey, you lot, hang tight. We'll back you up. Nice. Together, we'll take them out in no time. Look at these hyena-looking bucks. Hold down ZL to display the tactics. But oh, you can then use that to issue orders. Interesting. Holding on to Z and pressing up, or is the focus their attack doing this causes other party members to attack the same target as the control character? Hold Z L and down, gather around the control character, uh, to, or the party to gather around the control character, press Z L down again to have the party scatter. Members won't use R C or attack while gathered. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Neat. Yeah, I'm supposed. I was supposed to kind of beeline it here. I'm presuming, because like, the fact that I'm level eight while these guys are only level four. Oh, 
Rude Wolf. Okay. I always like it when a game will try and have fun with enemy names and types by just playing on words like instead of rude R U D E R O O D. Like Rude Wolf. <laughs> Still get it, but yeah, look at all that red life juice. Yeah. This all we're getting. Gonna need something a bit more meaty about now. Tell me about it. Colony we fought the other day, dirt rank. Hardly filled up the flame clock at all. But yeah, so things that we kill with our weapons send their life Hans, essence to our, our yeah. essentially our home no heroics mech. Keep your head screwed on. <laughs> and keeps it Come going. On, man. No one ever tell you. It's a gasoline. I'm a in the making I am. Without my heroics, our combat unit would be right up the lands. Creek. Come on. Stop being so cocky. It was just a joke, mate. No need to glare. With your Is soft eyes. Bad? Yeah. Something's not right here. Something just feels off. It's a trap. Noah's intuition's never wrong. Friends better listen to Noah. Got it. God, I love Riku's voice. It's... I think it's like the deepest Nopon voice I've ever heard. It's most no most Nopon voice are like this. Oh Nopon. <laughs> but his is like hello there. How may I help you? Alfetto Valley. Your daughter calls me daddy too. Nopon? <laughs> Riku. Things get hairy. You hide behind me, yeah? Lance, you just focus on protecting Noah. Don't worry about me. Okay, let's collect all our good stuff. Come on. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Let's give him the usual, Noah. Uh, we got the initiative. Nice one, Wamba. Come here. I got something for you. You're a lifesaver. Pop off. Interesting that the tactics menu shows up every time. Like, I would have expected it to be, like, not always present on the screen. Okay, so it seems like the vaults are just aggro as shit, man. I really like fighting. Or the things in this area like fighting. Also possible. You know... How is that not a back attack? Quick save because this guy's blue. Fight with focus. <laughs> I practically know this one by heart. Uh, extra. I'll keep up the attack. Smooth as always, Noah. Eat it. Uh, Bonus damage on dazed enemies, which is fantastic. Okay. It's not too bad. Luckily, the buffs are relatively easy. They are, they're not too strong. Which is to be expected of the starting area dog enemy. It's, a, it's like the starting area slime or bug enemy, right? It's, it's never strong. It's never super tough.
conquered. Give me all that bonus. Keep going. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Okay, jump up there. Click that. Gotta go get that container. Uh, but you gotta make this jump first. Yeah. Here's my group. Go. Okay. Go. Everyone just beat the shit out of this bird. Do it. Good. Give me this container. Oh, coins? Delicious, delicious coins. Drop there. Get that. Drop there. Oh, I don't know if drop there. Usherine. <laughs> We're Usherine, a new age. Okay, so we gotta kill these enemies, right? Can't just, can't just go, leave guys. them right unattacked. Fox, fly, we need to figure out what they drop, right? Rock crab. A morgue crabble. It's a morgue crabble. Damn, I was hoping I would get two of them. Crap out of them. Okay. You guys are just too strong. Fight with focus. Counting on you, Noah. Good, 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 good. Killing all these apples. Or not apples, crabbles. These are not apples. God, if, a if apples fought back, that would suck. If the Whomping Willow was an apple tree, that would change the entire story. How many student deaths this year at Hogwarts? Well, eight of them tried to get apples. They, they got whomped. Although, anytime I think of the word womp, all I can think of is the one episode from from the uh, old Disney show, Nick, uh, the old Disney show, um, Recess, where to the like the main kid with the hat and then the uh, basketball kid, like their slang term for like sucks or like stinks is womps, <laughs> and. Like, they they said it, and, like, teachers and other adults were like, Oh my god, like, you're, they're saying such a bad word. And it's like, it, but it's just womps. <laughs> and, like, it gets to the point where, for some reason, they go to court. And they're like, what's this all about? <laughs> it's like, it's the womps. And he's like, oh, that, that, that reminds me of, like, a peanut butter sandwich. Oh, it's fine. Rendezvous point up ahead. There's no point can't use irises, isn't it? Panda have to keep filling with the terminal. No pawn can't use irises. Interesting. Wonder why. No fear. Riku, take it in stride. Also, if pretend to not look at terminal, can ignore all sort of troublesome and tiresome communications. Oh, that's kind of smart. Oh, hello there. Riku, watch out! Ah! It was camouflaged as a rock? We have to face it. Here it comes. Combat music in this game. Very cool. A drifter ropple. Yeah, let's get that on. Yeah, there we go. Stay in the back. Oh, 
fire. Okay. Come on, give me the move. Okay. I think after this fight, I'm gonna check the arts tab again because I did level up the thing to level um to level uh ten, like his attack rank. So I'm curious to know if that maybe unlocked a couple extra moves or something. Perfect. That's how you kill a big ass flippin' lizard. Okay, but it seems like only potentially only story enemies really raise the so, flame clock. It's gonna be next month. Yeah. Just a little longer. Oh, okay. So he's almost ten term. The pride of Colony Nine. He's almost term ten. Oh, you guys. Oh, he's gonna die. Finally made it this far. What's up? Well, thing is, I was thinking after this op, I think I'm gonna go and put in a transfer to the Salvage Corps. You never know what will happen on the battlefield, right? You can laugh at me, if you want. Oh, he's dying here. I ain't laughing, man. We've only been alive this long because you've always had our backs. Yep. We owe you a ton. Just make sure you get to your homecoming, okay? Oh, Mwamba's dead. Lance. This... Uni. You guys. <laughs> this is a flag. Mwamba. Now not time to relax tear ducts. Let down guard, and you feel flame clock of someone else. Riku, come on. <laughs> well, you don't mince words. You are right, though. Sorry. Oi. No. Uh... Huh? Oh, no, it's not that. I guess I was just thinking about your homecoming. It made me feel a little sad. No. Uh... Mwamba, salvage is an important service. Don't feel like you owe us anything. Thank you so much, Noah. Right then. Let's get this operation done. Next month's a homecoming. Oh, yeah, he's dying here. <laughs> he is dying soon. I mean, dying soon regardless. I'd but... love to make it to my homecoming. Maybe if I'm lucky. Uh, of course you'll make it. We all will. I wonder... I mean, I'm not like you guys. I'm so clumsy. Come on, you're not. What about the last match? You did way better than everyone else. We still lost though, right? It's okay. I've sort of half given up already. Joran? Joran? Well, at least... Huh? When I do die, I want to at least be of some use. Enough of that! What? Don't talk like that! I've always told you we're a team, haven't I? That means now and always. Oh. Oh, thanks, Noah. I'm about to go die. Oh, he saved Noah. Okay. Oh, no, he saved Lance. Noah. Lance. Okay. Noah. Huh? Hmm? I'm gonna go on ahead. We got a call. Martha's team has a spot free, apparently. Ah, right. Do me a favor. Come along with me to the office. When you apply. Got it. The commander can be intense. Exactly. Later. <sighs> he is going to die. I have to imagine. Okay, but now we don't have him in our team, so that's a little bit of DPS that I have now just lost. So I need to be careful. Yeah. See, so it's, in, it's in games where you want to make full use of, like, the bonus characters. Like, um, like in Bravely Default 2, uh, at the start of the game, you have, like, a guide character who's, like, really strong. So I just used him to grind up, like, pretty hard. 
at the, at the start of the game. Because I was like, oh yeah, no, this is just a smart thing to do. God damn it. Really sucks when you just miss. Come on. Attack focus doesn't matter if I have. There's only the one enemy uh, type. There we go. These good things. Something a bit meatier. Meat, oh yeah. Something decent, right? A container. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. I'll deal with you all at once. Ha! Got you. Crush you. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Ha! Break. Okay. Good, doing a whole bunch of damage with That's good moves. Okay. Give me all this meat. I hope we can make use of this. No pawn coins. No pawn coins. No pawn coins. It's a no pawn. No pawn coins. Uh, feather band. Um, arts. Okay, no new arts. Just yet, unfortunately. Unfortunate. I was hoping for at least something. Maybe, maybe that's what the SP is for. Maybe it's building up like a an invisible currency that I just don't have access to, like see yet. Actually, they said for the flame clock, they said it decreases over time. So I have to imagine that that means it can't be only story um, combat that uh, does the necessary stuff. So maybe it is actually just straight up, like, maybe level of enemy that you fight. Maybe that has some effect, or like how many. 
be curious to see the like, breakdown of that. See, it, it's, it's so interesting being in like the first few days of like a game being out because everyone is still trying to figure out how everything works exactly. And like no one knows where anything is. So like the first few days, that's when guides are like, yeah, they're not the best. So can't really rely on them. Just fun. It's always one of those nice situations to be in. Like the first few days of Elden Ring, right? We're just like, whoa, 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 what is what? Okay. Oh, a rest spot. It's a campfire. It's a campfire song song. We made it to the rendezvous point faster than I thought we would. Wamba did help us a lot along the way. Mama's team, they're not here yet. I thought the squad was leading the way. There'll be a different rendezvous point, I expect. The mission hasn't changed. We'll start, uh, stand by around here to the schedule to start the operation. After that, should we grab a bite to eat? Good shout. Noah, something up? I've just got this uneasy feeling. It won't go away. The thing we were talking about before. Mate, you're just thinking too hard as usual. Think it could just be the pressure weighing on you a bit? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Definitely not able to really do as much voice as when I do uh, accents on top. Oh, for snuff's sake. We've still got a bit of time. Have a blown off a bit of steam with a quick sparring sesh. Huh? Come on, we've got the operation soon. Shouldn't we just rest? Nah, this is exactly the sort of time you want to get your heart rate up. Nothing like going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to get out of your head. It really helps you focus. Never mind empty-headed proposal of lands, Noah. Shut it, fluff bag. Recoup for having mindful moment in quiet place. Checking on on state of self. Okay. Thank you, Lance. Why don't we train a bit now so we can give it everything in the battle? Nice! Let's get bro to bro, fist to fist contact! Rest spots. At rest spots, you can perform actions such as leveling up characters with bonus XP or saving the game. You can also go to any spots you found using skip travel. Uh, things you can do at rest spots will increase as you progress the story. Hey, rest spot discovered! Usually increase levels through XP gain in battle, but by selecting level up at a rest spot, you can use bonus XP to increase your character's levels. Nice. Better make sure we're well rested. And level ups can you use bonus XP to raise your levels. Uh go through you want to level up. Let's go with no in this case. Okay. So now select the level you want. Once you run out of bonus XP, you cannot level up any farther. Ah, okay, so the red. Okay, so I'll go. Right now. I'll go to 10. I'll, go to, I'll get to 10 with everyone. Here's the level. No, no, next thing, please. Uh, oh, wait, does every character. Oh, every character has their own bonus XP. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it's not a group bonus level XP, which I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like a pool of XP. No, it's each character probably has bonus XP from the combat that they're involved in instead. Okay. If I'd realized that, I would have just full leveled up. Doesn't seem like any reason not to. It's almost time. Let's review the details of the operation. Our mission and objective lies in the Alfetto Valley. An unidentified ether source has been reported. We are tasked with surveying it and destroying it. Waypoint marked out on map now. Please have a look at waypoint on map. The advance party should have already arrived at the planned contact point. It's time we headed out too then. Let's get the snuff out of here. Royal decree, eh? I don't know about all this. But let's get out of there and square it away as quick as we can. Really? Are you? 
really doing combat right now? I'm like eight miles away. Kind of sounds like Donald though. When's the battle happening? Okay. Let's do this. Better make sure we're well rested. Save clean clothes. Clean clothes. Uh, much better. Interesting. This bonus XP. Okay. Yeah. No reason not to max it out. Oh. Make everything a lot better. Healing power, yeah. I'm presuming that it's the enemies are going to be scaled to the point. Wow, you got a lot of HP on level. This lands to us. Um, I'm imagining they're going to be scaled such that um, feel stronger. you'll uh, need to be at like the max level that you could have been able to get. Presumably. It's good to keep a record. Where to from here? Okay. So let's get going. Alright. Yeah. Oh, and any else do you think the source could be? No idea, bud. What I do know. Don't try to stop us. Leave it to me. I'll have them crying by the end. Uppercut! Slash! Come here! I got something for you! You're a lifesaver. Hey. You want a tussle? Oh, we can tussle! Come here! I got Bam. something for you! You're a lifesaver. Okay. okay. Let's kill these guys, these crabbles. And then I think I'm going to beeline it to the, the uh, story stuff. Just to make sure that I can hopefully open up the game a tad more for me to play on my own. Lest I need to... Uh, lest I need to stream the game again on, like, Monday. <laughs> to make sure I can do that. Okay. So we got some black fog. It's really supposed to be here. I don't see much. Who? Agni and troops. Seriously? They're still far off. They haven't spotted us. Going in? We don't have Dude, Uni's crouched. The only thing we need to focus on is our target. Black fire. <gasps> what? Heads up, enemies at two o'clock. Go tell the main force. I'm worried about more Amber and the others. I think we'll go on alone. Okay then, I'll handle it. Thanks, bruv. I'm worried about Moamba, the dude who raised so many flags. Okay. So the Agnians cool. want this thing too, huh? What do you think it is, Uni? Does it matter? All we've got to do is follow orders, and it'll work out. <laughs> Make this quick. Move as always, no Let's idea. take out this light skeeter. I wish we could have avoided that. So, uh, when's the battle happening? Don't try to stop us. Never a dull moment, eh? Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Got you. Wolf. The wolf or, yeah, the wolf. I feel like, I feel like wolf-like enemies in games 
if, especially if they're in a fantasy setting, have a very high chance of being called a Volf. I don't know why. I feel like this isn't the only game I've fought a Volf in. Maybe it was also in Xenoblade 2? That's probably it. But yeah, I definitely feel like just replacing W with a V, like cutting off one of the, uh, cutting off a part of the V, or the part of the W, is a, uh, is a pretty standard thing to do. Okay. Let's just save, make sure. God, that's so cool. Commence, com commence mission. Okay. Okay, so it's just invisible. Is that it? It's not Cavesi. Definitely not Agni either. It's not Cavesi, not Agni. Okay. What the fuck is that? Okay. It's coming down. So are we Kavesi? Okay, Max. And now our troops are fighting each other. Started without us. We need to keep moving. Head to the target. You got it. Okay. Our priority is to take down our target. I think we should avoid confrontation with Agnes. That's all well and good, but if there is a confrontation, no way am I backing down. It makes sense. Okay, so you know what I want to do? I actually want to swap out my uh, accessory on him from that to in there boost damage boost auto attack damage by 66% boost damage to the okay yeah, might as well put that attack stone on it's better okay I was gonna put on the boost damage to machines well actually no I still should have Because machines are going to have their own uh, uh, they're gonna have their own like, shenaniganry. Because it's this is damage of auto attacks, not damage just straight up. So I want to boost damage straight up. That way my like back attacks and stuff also get boosted. Yeah, we killed it. Ah, there's more of them. Ooh, single slash. Take it out again. Oh, <laughs> three and one. Heels. God, such a cool staff. In fact, that's like a gun and a staff is so neat. Oh, behind, not even looking. So neat, so cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, no, you're alone. Okay, cool. My flame clock. It's filling up. But my flame clock. So does each person have like an individual flame clock? Okay, so let's go back to characters, accessories. There we go, tool belt. Okay, do save. See, it, se it seems to be nice and always goes to, like, the one that is the oldest, which is cool. Do you want to assist the people that you have to assist? Good. God damn it. No pawn coin. I wish we could have avoided that. What were they gonna do? Make me yawn myself to death. This off is getting weirder by the minute. I know. But if we can only get to the base of that pillar of light. Make Come this here. quick! I got something for you! You're a lightsaber! No! Enemy's broken away from me! Ground! Come here! I got something for you! Thank no. you. Baby. Boosted damage. Boosted damage from the days. Come on back, Duck. Items. And the real time portion of like playing this game is very nice. Like I think it's why a lot of people like um, Super Mario RPG. I've never played it myself, but I've watched people play it. And it's like, oh yeah, we like it because even though it's turn-based, right, you still have input actions, which is fun. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Leave it to me. I'll be crying by the end. It's all crying. Ground beat. I could have handled that. Yeah. You're welcome, bud. You're welcome, my Mac, my stuff. Um, okay. It's good to keep a record. That. Quick save. Quick save before you get to every exclamation point. Oh, hello there. So your robots are different than my robots and the Agnes robots. I'm curious as to like what's going on here. Is this like a new nation coming in, a new what world? But they seem very. What's going on? There are no pilots inside. They're automatons. Automatons. Come here! I got something for you. Thanks. Extra. Yeah. So playing on that machine one, definitely good. Like the fact that my backstab does like over 500 damage, pretty, pretty sweet. 
Yep. Bam, and a backstab there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Make me yawn myself to death. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Safe to follow me with me on the job. You're a lightsaber. Bam. The ever living crap out of this robot. <laughs> yep. I'm really glad that I got that accessory. It makes everything so much easier, at least against these guys. I'm glad I thought to put it on instead of just leaving the auto attack one on. Don't try to stop us. This one looking at me funny. Hey you. Come here. I got something for you. You're a lightsaber. Good. You out. Breathe that almost 3,500 damage. That's crazy. That's so much damage. At least at this point in the game. I imagine at some point that will be next to nothing, but yeah, until then. Damn it, you missed. Boom. Yeah, these guys are going down like nothing. I'm also probably over leveled with the bonus XP that I got, doing all the side quests, doing all the combat. So that definitely helps. I wonder if that thousand XP was not XP towards my character's level, but for bonus XP. I can't remember. Did it say a thousand bonus XP when I did the first amiibo? Or did it just say a thousand XP? Is that it? Why could they just put it in their eye instead of having it be like a headset? So that would get. I feel like that would get old fast. Like always having the same thing on top. Okay, so we got people. We're in like combat gear, standard combat gear. Damn but it! Fighting both of them. That's gonna be a tough break. And they seem to use like metal bullets and stuff instead of the lasers. They'll do just about anything for our precious Ouroboros stone. Ouroboros stone. Okay, now there are lasers. Okay, I thought they were just firing like, regular bullets. Gunnica, that's the last of the automatons. Gunnica. We won't last long. The battle units still hold it. Go, save yourself. Get that stone to the city. Go! Really rush. Damn, good aim. Know this guy. I feel sorry. There it is, the ether source. First there was those automatons. Now another unknown weapon. What in the flames are we even fighting? I don't know. No, not just us. Agnes too. So you made it this far. It'll have to be here. Not 
Noah, look. Is that a man? He's no Agnian soldier. What is he? Was he controlling those automatons? Maybe. What the heck? Got some paper airplane looking things. Oh. Oh, so that's the turret. We got some woman with like Nia discs and got big hammer. Okay. Okay. It seems we are just about the only ones left. Okay, so they are Kavasi. The and there's our objective. Noah. Yeah. We'll have to fight. Mio. Got it. Okay. Totally named. Okay. This music. Okay, these guys are level eight. Yeah, it was definitely supposed to... Actually, I wonder if it was scaled such that you don't have to use all the bonus XP. I didn't wish I mi really wish I didn't miss that side attack. God damn. Just wants to evade everything. There we go. on this guy. He seems to be the healer, so. Luckily he didn't heal the, the person I was attacking first all that much. Okay. Boom, get him out. Yeah, wanted to get the days up. Bam. Hit you hard. Come here. I got something for you. Thanks. Nothing going. Okay. Back attack will be up. That. And side attack will be up. That will be good. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, I'm gonna guess that this is a cutscene tie and not a handy win, but. Hmm? Oh, God, I love the dual circle weapons. These kids are gonna end up stealing each other's life force. And me. I've robbed them even of that kindness. Okay. Oh, and she has cat ears. Pull out a swing. You're way too slow. Big hammer. No way. Okay. For a little munchkin, she sure packs a real wallop. Oh, that hair. That's cool hair. Ugh. How many of those cards has this geek got? Geek. No escape. When my Mondo have you, they'll follow you to the ends of the world. Must have been hard to have those glasses but beneath that mask. Fuck that. Why don't you back off? <sighs> How did she fool my Mondo? Creep. Try following that. Fool my mondo. Okay. 
I really like that blue hair girl's hair. Like with the, the like neon tips. But I think you're right. These are no grunts. That gear. Special forces? Yeah, defo. That'll be where they've got an off-seer with them. Well, so are we. Even Stevens, right? Even Stevens. <laughs> okay, so they have the concept of the name of Steven. This cutscene is really good. This is like very well choreographed. And yet, her moves are really simple. It's almost like they have a rhythm. Ah, the agony and obscene tune. I know how that goes. Oh, she. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, that's neat. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> You're attacking according to the music, but I also music. Hang on. The fighting stopped. When did that... <sighs> At this rate, one of us is going to get killed. No. Maybe both of us will. Something strange is going on. We shouldn't be fighting like this. We should run. Huh. Run. Was it me who just said that? What is this? There's no time to think. I have to trust my gut. This is all too real. I hope I'll be able to get through to her. You're an Oxia from Agnes, right? What the? So you are then. Why are you fighting me? Uh, as if you can talk. You're the ones attacking us. What? Too scared to fight now? Too late. <laughs> it's not to do with fear. It's that sound. You can hear it too. I know you can. We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. You think we just let you go? Uh, oh, this is bad. At this rate. Okay. Is that all you have to say, Agnes? I'm telling you! Enough! I'm telling you that you're full of it! Take that! Oh, oh. Almost kills. Al almost mutual kill. Do I really have to kill her? But she's so fast. If I lose focus for a second, I'm done for. These Kavesi officers. I thought they were just window dressing, but he's different. And there's his sword. What's up with that? Is that not a standard attacker weapon? Maybe special? Huh? What's that? Ah. Oh. Oh, I see. I suppose this is the reason I'm here then, eh? <laughs> Guess this is what they call fate. Fine then. Time for Guernica Van Dam to make an entrance. Oh. What the Dude. What do you all think you're doing? Why the fighting? What's this guy saying? Just uh. why? Answer me! What do you mean, why? If I see an enemy, I fight. So don't you interfere. Oh. <laughs> Pull the wool from your eyes, kid. Think about your real target. That thing. And me. Now you just have your little scrap. <laughs> you have any idea 
who the real enemy is? It's over! Dude, okay. This guy's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, why are you guys fighting? I'm still here. Is that all you need to fight? Truly? That's all? Of course. Countless comrades have lost their lives thanks to this filth. Oh, really now? I could say the exact same thing. What do you think it's like for us? Losing friend after friend. You steal everything from us. You think we're even just because both sides do some killing? What good filling up these flickering clocks in our eyes? It'll never replace the friends we've lost. That's why. We aren't fighting because we want to. We're not. We can see our lives written before our eyes. Fighting is all we have. Is it any wonder we lose loved ones? I have to take them from others. All of us. We have to fight so we can go on living. <sighs> Just who decided that this was how it should be? If I knew who they were or where I'd... I know who they are. You what? Oh. <gasps> You're an officer, eh? I guess I can trust you with this. You better listen up now, because the face of your real enemy is... Eh. Unfortunate timing. Very unfortunate timing. Uh. Uh, who called it? Hello there, big man. Mio. Oh, uh, help me, Mio. Hacked. My blade. What the? Uh, okay. So he. Uh, what is that thing? Never seen anything like it before. Uni, Uni. What's wrong? What is it? Seen that thing before? No, how could I have? Noah? No. Oh wait, are they remembering their previous lives? It's Maybe else. that's it? Like oh, before sorry. everything? Oi, oi. Don't go stopping on my account. Get back to killing each other. Come on. I thought that was your whole raison d'etre. It's speaking. <clears throat> no, Mias. What's wrong? Too worried about your buddies to fight? Can't have that. All right. Oh. That. That's fucked up. You scum! Oh, wow. This is some entertainment. Two rival factions murdering each other over one little rock. Well... Your objective is staring you in the face. Try and take it. Cause you'll be dead before you can lay a finger on it. Don't Dude. you just love it? Don't you want to savor it? This guy's so cool. Sweet taste of a life cut short. Such a good villain. You mother! Wait! Lance! Uni! You killed her! Mimi! Spock! <sighs> Dude, how are you still going? Guy <laughs> should not even have a spine.
deflecting bullets just with off-handed things. Just off-handed waves. So <laughs> this villain is serious. Leave him alone. Stop for. Dude, this freaking music, man. About to enter in rage. Okay. Okay, so they're healed at least, so that's good. Luckily, he has yet to turn around and even try to focus on me. God damn it. Don't miss. that other backstab previously because I would have had this the, the super move for dazed but nope do that there we go okay now time for a cutscene scripted loss or a tie probably loss oh, sad music hey healing Yeah, teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, you can use him as a shield? Get out the way. You're just slowing me down. The nerve on this guy. Okay. I'm gonna open the egg now. Start working. Work! Oh, okay. Start up soon. Those kids and the world. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude, he should be so dead. Looks like it wasn't all for nothing. Uh. Uh. One down. Good start. Wait, what? Just knocked his soul- wait. It's knocking their souls out of their bodies? Wait, what? Wait, are they seeing- all of their memories?
Oh wait, they're probably seeing their like I guess past lives, like from the opening cutscene, right? Though that like that time period maybe between the two of them. What did I just do? Wait, what? what? This, hand. this isn't my hand. Why are they so small? How are you inside me? Inside. Yo! You... Are we? Fusion Ha! Yo, Fusion Ha into fucking Gundams! Yo! Oh no, into fucking Evangelions. Like, that looks like Evangelion. Oh, shit. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. This is neat. Interlink. Okay. Ouroboros. Interesting. To put it bluntly, your failures. Fact is, the two of us are mortal enemies. Enemies? You got the picture? So, someone probably set the uh, Kevis or Kevins or whatever, and Agnes, to fight against each other so that they wouldn't have this, uh... Uh, so they wouldn't have like a um, uh, like a chance to do this often. Okay, this is neat. Oh, that's cool. Using it as like a skateboard. Dude, these attacks are so freaking cool looking. Interesting that it says level zero up at the top left with Noah and Mio. Curious. I'm so I'm so intrigued right now. I was not playing the stream for four hours, but I have a feeling I'm gonna go for a while longer. Or at least a bit longer. Cutscenes take time. One of them talks, one eye lights up, one of the other talks, the other guy lights up. Wait, infinity symbol in the sky? Oh. People from far and wide seeing it. Interesting. It's like a bat signal for bad. I wonder how your lives will turn out. I'll enjoy watching you. Okay. This is so neat. And he just teleports away. <laughs> how do we undo this? <laughs> right now we're kind of in the same body. Who even was that? Yep. Okay, cool. Noah? 
was that was that you guys just now? Mia, what's happening here? What's going on? I don't know. <gasps> <gasps> Hold it right there. You guys, put away your weapons. You aren't, you're not enemies now. We're not? Then... <clears throat> You're not enemies now. You literally just fought tooth and nail to keep each other alive. I guess for mutual assistance, but still. <laughs> you look like what's this? Skin's all wrinkled. Yeah. What's this face from Zambly Two? It's called getting old. This old. Well, must be your first time, huh? Seeing a human like me. I mean. Well then, looks like my plan was a success. Or no, he doesn't. I'm what thinking. plan? You six, you're now Uroboros. Check the flame clocks in your irises. Do they look different to you? Huh? <gasps> now you mention it. Our flame clocks have changed shape. A snake eating its tail. Uroboros. Shit. That's the Uroboros ring. Guess I did good in trusting this power to you. <sighs> that mark there, late tenth term, eh? Three months left till your homecoming, that about right? Hmm. As for the rest of you, you're probably about two years off, right? I've been alive 60 years. 60? Or should I say 60 terms by your counting? Yeah. Damn. I've been alive six times longer than you lot. This is how people are really meant to be. Listen, folks. That's not all. There's still something else that needs to be done. <sighs> you guys survive live on hold the torch you kids don't need to be fighting each other not anymore but that doesn't mean you get to relax okay from this moment on, so cool <laughs> those mobius bastards are never gonna leave you alone because now kids you share a common destiny. Destiny? They'll hunt you constantly, relentlessly without rest. Even so, there's one place that might give you a chance. Sword March. Sword March. Land pierced by a great sword. You gotta find our hope. Our city. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. And reclaim what was lost. <laughs> I got both teams have a world have a no con with them. Should be. And listen, don't give up. Ten years, you kids deserve better. The only thing that can change all this is the will of Uroboros. You kids, and you alone. Damn. Okay. So Ouroboros is good in this game. <laughs> hey, is she? Yeah, an Agni and Offseer. Come on, let's play together. Yeah, 
That's a very girly looking nope on. Okay, and all the light is blue. Or white, maybe? Green? Teal? Not sure. Hard to tell. But very beautiful. But yeah, so the, the two tunes go well together. So close to making it. I wonder if they're going to shoot us over to play as Mio alone, maybe? Thank you for doing this with me. Well, this is what we're meant to do. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. To send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. Oh, yeah. Right. We're leaving. Noah. Uni. What's up? The mission's over. We've got an obligation. Need to report the sitch. As do we. Time to withdraw. Mio. Senna. Huh? But... But what? Uh, come on, Tyon. Don't be rude. It's hardly the time for pleasantries. We lost a great many of our comrades. We have to inform those still in the colony. And we're any different. If you snuffheads hadn't come charging in. Indeed. Well, why don't we settle this here? These right guys now? are so aggro. Yeah, bring it. I reckon I could go for some payback. Lance. Yeah? That's enough. What do you mean? <laughs> There's no point. Seriously? Before, when she and I transformed, I felt her thoughts. Or maybe her memories. There were so many... And then they were a part of me. There were so many different fragments. Hard to tell them apart. But even then, I understood. We're the same, you and I. She's... She's lost a lot fighting us. Kevez took away so much. Kevez, okay. She's experienced a lot of grief. Transformed? You mean, the biggin? No, not the biggin. <laughs> Fuck I yeah. felt it as well. Your grief. It was like mine. Yeah, well... And in one of those memories... Mio. It's something that could be our fault. That's what it's like in war, I suppose. Mm. So, what is planned from here? Some kind enough to show face. But we'll hide again if this drag on. True, true. Time is wasting itself. You're right. Let's go. A lot's happened, but that seems best. You made the right decision, Lance. Sorry for confusing things. Nah, uh, don't worry about it. Mio, should we leave it at that? Um, yeah. They did say the entire it. world is going to be our enemy. I sincerely hope for your safe return. You take care too. Take care not to die in a ditch somewhere, that is. I want to be the, the one to kill. The next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Don't forget that. Ha! Don't worry, I've got a good memory. Hmm. I'm surprised we're just leaving. Like, to me, that's quite surprising. I was like, very much expecting it to be like, okay, I guess we gotta be together now. But maybe not. I am, I am, I am flummoxed. It's the enemy. The enemy is approaching. Our sworn enemy. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Red is bad. <laughs> I 
Hey, you okay? Huh? I mean, you and the Agnian officer transformed into that weird thing. Yeah, well, for what's worth, that didn't seem to do any damage or anything. Hey, right, Uni. Go ahead and take point looking for hostiles, will ya? Till we make it back to Colony 9. Gotcha. Man, that's not really necessary. You're the most depleted out of the lot of us, mate. It's a long way to Colony 9. If you want to make it back in one piece, you'll need to be careful. Much fighting on way back, probably. Yeah, we've got a point. So, we done? Can we head on? You are now controlling Uni. Cow healers fight. Uni takes the healer role and her class is Medic Gunner. He is playing extremely important role as they can restore hit points, HP, and reviving capacitated allies and provide various... Okay, so only healers can get people up. Interesting. Uh, using arts that place field effects on the battlefield will cause the talent art icon to flash green and your talent art gauge will charge up a lot. Actions that support your allies, such as amplifying buffs, removing debuffs, and raising falling allies, also counts as roll actions, charging your own okay. By gaining the power of Ouroboros, freeing from the clock, the party were freed from the shackles of the flame clock. Okay, now it's just not there. Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay. Neat. So, what I am going to do at this point is I am going to save. Just part of the protocol, innit? Because I am going to end this stream here. <laughs> I've been going for almost four and a half hours, which, you know, starting a new game, I'd say is pretty good time. But, uh, what I can say is tomorrow, Saturday, I will be streaming... Some more Dark Souls 3 Duolingo, which will be a fun time. And chances are I'm going to hold off on playing much Xenoblade Chronicles 3 um, until Monday when I probably will actually play some more of it. Um, just because I don't want to uh, advance too much in the story. Because the beginning of the game will most likely be a lot of stuff. <laughs> that I don't want to skip, otherwise it will be very difficult to explain. So I hope you all have a very nice night, and will join me next time. Bye!